Hey. Hello. I thought I'd eventually do a point and click adventure at the weekend. The kids aren't here, so we're doing it. And it's uh, Day of the Technical. Um, I, sw I wanted to start two hours ago, but setting up things took longer than I hoped. I had to move cameras around and set up the uh, SC... Not SC5055, it's the SC... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's it. The SC155 is desktop edition. Posh wine, ten pounds a bottle. <laughs> nice, nice on a nice sunny Sunday day. Although it's a bit rainy today, actually. It's been raining. Yeah, still sunny a little bit. That's nice. Um, a Dubai corkscrew. Rare occasion. The posh ones are the corkscrews. The cheap, the the other cheaper ones is like pull them out or something. <laughs> the the rings. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're using real hardware today. It's got my Windows 98 DOS machine booted up. I've got the CD-ROM version of Data Tentacle, and I've got the SC155 sound canvas for the MIDI. It's all working. I'm just gonna start it. Screw cuts are cheap. Yeah. Treating yourself. Sounds good. I haven't played this before. This is the first time. So, uh... I'm thirsty. No backseat in the last, I think we'll do. I can I try and work things out myself, that. hopefully. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> Like I could. Take on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back... to the mansion! Yeah, this is a sequel to Maniac Mansion, isn't it?
the chat on my phone so I can see things right turn on my head constantly. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Ogi, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Right, looking for the secret lab. What's that on the floor? Is that garbage? Uh, pick up gum with dimes stuck in it. Yeah, I have that. It's stuck to the floor. Oh, all right. Um, is this... Pull it. It's stuck to the floor. Let's just look at it. Let's see if it's useful. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. We've also got a textbook. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Hmm. Why does my phone say my stream's <laughs> offline? There we go. Working now. Uh, so what are we gonna do with this? Mm, spearmint, my Gum. favorite. Flyer, let's look at the flyer. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Pick it up. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. It doesn't seem to open. Must we got service bell? Neat. Didn't do anything. Chuck the plant. A horticultural horror. I can't see past the sign in the window. Okay. I imagine the, the dime is going to be probably for this phone later, but we can't pick it up at the moment. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Uh, can we pick that up? Oh, we have a dime. One dime. Okay. 1952. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Can we open it? Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. My thoughts, exactly. <laughs> Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> it's been out that stupid. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. So. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, yeah. I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? 
Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave over all Over the world! Humanity. Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it yesterday! Through the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Hello! Listen, though. How are you doing? Well, you had a good weekend? Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. It's an evil tentacle. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It worked! I can't believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Uh oh. This is good Where are we gonna end up then? Is that ye old something or other? I can't read the text, it's too small. Has everyone turned up in a different time? Hokey and Laverne. Was that poor Lou? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be getting the Hey, I know how you doing. It's a great one. Back on Lucas Arts, we're at the peak. Yeah, I've heard this is one of the best ones. How's it going? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? I haven't played this one before. I've played... All the, well, I've played a lot of the other ones. I've played uh, Monkey Islands and I've played. So I've played the Indiana Jones ones. Now, what am I going to do? Uh, Grim Fandango. I think I made myself perfectly Let's get over this one, though. Step one. I know they remastered it as well in like 2016 or something. Step two. Oh, yeah, this is the talky edition of the original on DOS. Step three. Get out of my house. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Good cracking. Sam and Max. So I haven't played that one either. It's a good one. I think I might have a copy of that. I've got a big bundle of uh, point and click adventures that's like waiting for me to invest the time. <laughs> but yeah, the kids aren't here today, so we've got a, a lazy Saturday, a lazy Sunday to uh, play through some stuff, some slower stuff. Let's have a look around. It can't do anything without a new diamond. Okay, we need a diamond. Got the toilet. <laughs> the portaloo. It's maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. I didn't click anything over there. I went to the portaloo. It's empty. It's empty. I cannot believe it. Hey, Emil. How are you doing? Let's 
watching him and stuff now. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about clicky games today. Go from Adventure Island straight to Mario. Destroyed my hand. Oh, no. Been icing it all morning. Getting old sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. So we're using... Um, I, I find when I, when I play on NES controllers, the rectangular ones, my hands do get sore with those. <laughs> I did it. I had it when I when I played Turtles Arcade. My hands got really sore, but um, the dog bone ones are a bit more comfortable. If you get one of those ones, I think they're probably Famicom. Like dog bone shape. They're a bit more comfortable in hand. A bit smaller. Neat. Can I do that? Why don't I push this? I don't want to cause any more trouble. Neat. I'll pull it. I'll pull it instead. I don't want to cause any more trouble. Damn it. Uh, yeah, I was using the brick, and I should have switched to the dog bone. I have one. <laughs> the brick. <laughs> Maybe go to joystick. I think that might help. But yeah, good effort on Mario. I've never beaten Mario. I've got to that. I got to eight four. I must have got to eight four because I remember the the fish coming up from the ground and the maze. I don't think I did it. And this I've like forgotten. But it was when I was much younger. I did that game. Um, Sludgematic. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. Got a lever here we can push. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Ah, uh, hamster generator. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. We don't have a hamster. We had a hamster delivered to the house, but I don't know what happened to him. Paper. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? We're we'll flushing them the time a machine toilet. battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes. Down the toilet. No, through time! Using <laughs> the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber, I'm in the last hammer bro is a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Ah. Hello? <laughs> Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's his name catches yeah, up. Yeah, it's a good job. Good job you can do start an A on Mario once you can continue oh, <laughs> as many times as you need to because be near impossible if you couldn't. The world, and now the toilet's backing up. Okay, come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chrono job. Do I even know about that? I was totally planning on one C. We didn't know about it. You must have been using those. You had loads of efforts last night. Great, 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 great yeah, I, I know that one when I was young. My, one of my like first you need the paper cheat books told me about so that one. Plug in your <laughs> okay, if you say so, I think when it's this like start an A, Good then I think that's, that's fair game. Does he have any experience <laughs> with electronics? Oh right, really? Um, nice. Well, I once saw him take three thousand volts directly. Oh yeah, the one CC would have been brutal because having to keep doing the entire out. game just to well, practice that last thing. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. <laughs> nice. First I reward. I should plug that into the super battery once I get one made. Okay, we need to make a super battery with these instructions. And then we're going to plug it into that thing on the floor to come back in time. It's the battery plans I'm supposed to give to that red... Oh, I just walked off and it went somewhere else. 400 years later. Get me down from here! Oh, he's jumping between time and not time. I feel like I might miss something on that other path, but okay. Oh, is that Edison? Benjamin Franklin, wrong person. Uh, let's talk to them. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the And mum, husband, and brother, uh, over a few hours. Uh, Mum's day here in Sweden. Sweden bought her strawberry cake. Hang out here. Oh, nice. I Red Edison? 
A scientist? All he's countries have different days for some reason. He pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our constitution. Shouldn't you say the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power from the sky by sheer <laughs> force of genius. Uh, okay. Uh, what's this? <laughs> oh, I've got to say this. Well, I'll let you get back to your tugging. Yes, back <laughs> to science. <laughs> Back to your tugging. We were actually Excuse finished. Excuse me, Mr. The presser. Mr. Electricity, that would be me. Uh, I, need, oh, I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. So where's this Red guy at? Down in his secret lab, of course, neglecting his guests. Secret lab. What's so bad about Red? What can you say about the brother's dog? Nice. The last four years <laughs> perfecting a left-handed hammer. He's insane, and he steals other people's inventions too before they can even apply for the patent. Not that I'm bitter. Okay. Well, see I wonder ya. if he'd want to see this Carry this on. patent of mine. Let's, let's let's see if he wants to look at it. Let's uh, is there a give give patent application? To Benjamin Please, Franklin. I'm concentrating. Stupidly. Okay. All right. Well, he's got something. What's down there? It's like a spindle. This is kite. I can't take it. Is so there a secret lab going to be in the big house then? He said about the guests. Let's go have a look. An inn. Okay. Bitch. Another bitching, bitching in, bitching. Bitchin'. Carriage. It's totally covered with crud. So we look inside. I can't open it. Is that like a box? Or it's, is that a seat? it's totally covered with crud. Totally covered in crud. Not, nothing else on here, by looks of it. Um, let's go into the place. We like having people over at this apartment. It's a nice hangout space. Never had them over in the old place. It was an awful apartment. Is it more cozy? Is that what is that what you're saying? You can all bask in the the glow of them CRTs. <laughs> Mailbox. It's closed. Open it then. What's that? A letter. Let's take the letter. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Come to Baltimore? Can I, can I look? Is that me looking at it? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. It's more spacious than I like what I've done with the place. It has personality. Yeah. You got the, I like your rug. I wish there was more space in my room for a while. I've got a rug down, but it's not very... Make sure that was working. I wasn't sure if they would work with the new camera set up. Thank you, Emil. I was say, yeah, I've got an awkwardly shaped room for a rug because my sofa's got a bit 45 degrees in the telly. So I don't want to buy a good one. I've got the one out of the hallway. So there's a little bit of comfort on the floor. Um, let's go in. Into the inn. Wait, this is the same place as the school we started in, because there was like an office here, there's the grandfather clock, and there's that door. Interesting. So this is, the lab is down that grandfather clock. What's this? The mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Is it a mannequin? Do you know where I could find him? On the catch right now, trying to make progress in the Tony Hawk Underground 2 Classic Mode. 
Yeah, that's 55 inch noise. <laughs> Great hat, man. hat, man. I'm gonna take that. I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that. They're called insensitive spittoon. Is it a mannequin? I'm just talking to it. I helped name the band. I don't think. <laughs> Later, dude. He didn't talk to me. I'm gonna take his hat. Can I take his hat? No, you can't look at his hat. Alright, let's go into this grandfather clock. Maybe there won't be a tunnel behind it anymore. Can't see. Maybe there's not a tunnel in it anymore? Let's have a look. I'm guessing it conceals the entrance to a secret lab. Oh, so how do I get into it then? Pick up, look at, talk to, pull, push, use, use. I don't wanna. Oh, thanks. How's the weekend be be been, Sir Killalot? Sir Killalot's from Robot Wars. <laughs> it's been alright. Um, we went to, uh, we, we didn't have the kids this weekend, so we went to a day trip to um, a retro game store in Leicester. And I finally found a Berry Game Boy Color, which I was very happy about. I've been looking for one for ages, so I've got the full set now. They don't have a website or anything, so um, if you want to get stuff from them, you have to go in the store. So they had lots of awesome stuff. I just got this oh, for next week. Batman Return of the Joker on the Game Boy, which we can play through. Didn't get a box. I couldn't find a boxed version, so it's got the cart, so I can play it. Okay, that doesn't do anything right now. For some reason. Let's look upstairs. Bitch. Should we let you spin you? <laughs> I'm not going to show them all. I've got to save some for next week. Uh, can you... Messaging. What, massaging? What? <laughs> it's uh, Batman Return of the Joker on the Game Boy. Uh, if you remember a couple of weeks ago we played the first Sunsoft Batman on Game Boy. This is the sequel. Which I wanted. Coked up on that car, what, the Joker. <laughs> Oops, door. Let's have a look in here. George sleeps here. Who's George? I guess this is George Washington's bed. Really? Okay. What's this cord do? I bet it calls the butler just like on TV. Let's try it. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. <laughs> it looks Excuse like. Excuse uh, me, Mr. Washington. Looks like the guy from Family Guy. It's Peter Griffin. He's cleaning my room. <laughs> All done here. Bye now. Cheers, Pete. Um, don't know what the point of that was. Let's try the next room. Who lives in a house like this? I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Uh, can I have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot? That sounds good. How about a skull with, like, scorpions? Have a hologram on it somewhere. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Go we on. need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Oh. Can we get it to make something? I don't know what we got. 
What would happen if I use the pattern application on the table? It's not gonna make me a battery issue. No, I don't think it's gonna work. We need something else for this. Flag prototypes. I like these. Too late. You've already rejected those. That'd make a killer T-shirt. My grandma had one like that. Right, this is if we need something made, sewn, we come back here. At the moment, we don't. Let's try the next room. I don't quite see how it can fly. Kite. We can make. We can have a kite. I don't understand that technical stuff. I don't quite see how it can fly. Looks like he spent a lot of time in there. Um. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. Chateau de Chipo, um, there's a calendar as well. Hey, what's that on the plant? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. <laughs> Probably the underwire drawer. A quote not about cocks and balls. Amazing, Ape Escape 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My cursor has stopped moving. I think the game might have broken. <laughs> oh no, don't break already. I didn't save it. Let me try it five. Oh, this is a disaster. Fucking DOS. It's the CD version. We're running off. Oh, wait, it's back. It's back. It's need to load up. I'm, I'm going to do a save right now because uh, we don't want unfortunate things to happen. There we go. I think that would have worked. How may I serve you, save? C dot C D. Yeah, it's working. It's all right. It's okay. Also, on screen chat broke. Right, that's free. Bad luck comes in freeze. Okay, it's back. Thanks. Not having a good day today, am I? I shouldn't have bothered. Okay. Let's try and pick up this stupid sign. I don't understand. Get first chat twice. There you go. There's a fucking bear. <laughs> and we get to hear that again. I don't. I don't know what's going on. Ugh, I've got like three vods to put together for the freaking YouTube. It's a pain in the butt when there's multiple streams. Okay, can't do anything with the kite plans. It seems. I don't wanna. Don't see anything else in here. Apart from the wine. Can I, can I take the wine bottle? I love some wine. There we go. I've got some, some free wine. He says a jump scale and I can't wait. I didn't use it for you. So. I know. It's my fault. Alright. What else have we got in it? Picture of Franklin. These are all... Can we take... So can I pick up the kite plans? That's what I want. I don't understand that technical stuff. No, he won't let me take them. Uh, why didn't we open the drawer? Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. I had no idea you would do it. <laughs> I'll add more for people over time. Uh, right, mirror doesn't do anything. Hey, what's that on the plant? It looks like a secret backwards message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here. That we can do at the moment. Bitcha. That's why he goes downstairs. Oh wait, what the fuck is that? Where's there a horse? Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. Wait. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? 
You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. <laughs> All right. Let's check if things aren't dead. We're okay now. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was always nut. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. Why do we need to talk about his teeth? Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. You've seen a horse well, eating I a gotta fruit go. roll up. See you later. I can't say I have. <laughs> a it looks roll. like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Ah, uh, he's going to take his teeth out. Okay. I don't think I want this. <laughs> it's really funny. It's like licking the face and stuff. I can imagine it. If I give the horse the wine, is he going to be happy? I don't want to. Don't want to. Okay, we've got to make him take his teeth out. Oh, the chewing gum. The chewing gum in the like the first world. There was chewing gum. We give the horse the chewing gum. Maybe. Let's do this first. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Ned and Does Jed. Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> Hold still, Jed. Jed is so, left-handed. I'm almost too frightened to ask. Are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Um. <laughs> I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? Jed is left-handed. No. Yes, thank you. No, you most definitely should not. I would have forgotten We that. couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? <laughs> Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What's that supposed to mean? What kind of people? Big, dumb people. How rude. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? Uh... The future. future. Kind of spooky sounding, ain't it? Ooh, the future, I'm from the future, look out! Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here anymore. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Point is mallet. Please Yoink. give me back my hammer. Please give me back my hammer. Please give me back my hammer. I've got to replace it or something. Please give me back my hammer. Please give me back my hammer. You won't let me. Please give me back my hammer. What's his hammer back? His right handed hammer. Interesting. So, what have we got to do to that? Wow. 
Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Okay, we can't do anything with Jed. Uh, something to do with that hammer we can take, but we got to put, give him something back in return. It's Ned or Jed's head. It's Jed's head. Right, nothing else we can do in here. Meanwhile, 400 years later, she slept the tree. Me down from here. <laughs> slept the tree. All right, I don't think we're gonna do anything else here. Let's go up this way. That's a cat. Ned's bed, Jed's bed. Very Spartan. Very Spartan. Some red paint here for some reason. All right, paint. Gonna take it. What a pretty pussy cat. Yipe. Can't pick up it. Cats dig these. Yipe. Oh, I want to take the toy either, so we need maybe we need that for some reason. <laughs> we'll work Yo, out I'm... why. <laughs> Can't crash this cat. Is that a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle? This is the pulley. It's one of those pulley things. <laughs> I've got nothing to do with that at the moment. What's the chimney do? It's just a cold chimney. Okay. Don't think we can do anything here yet. Right, let's just scan the area, see what the what rooms are it's about. Locked up with somebody's bed. Looks like someone's bedroom. Okay, I don't think we've got any rope or anything for the pulleys, so I don't know what that's for yet. Okay, so we've got a pulley on the roof, suspect. We've got a cat toy up here, suspect. We've got a horse with funny teeth we need to take for some reason. Um, a hammer that Jed or Ned won't let us have yet. Bitcher. Flag maker. Can't do anything with that yet. I mean, we couldn't go down to the lab for some reason. He wouldn't go down there. What's the main hall? Let's go in there. Oh, there we go. We haven't been in here yet. Got a suggestion the box. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. Okay, we're not getting that yet. Got a swinging door, a fireplace. Bitch. Oh, I didn't want to. Wait a minute. <laughs> We're back up here. It's a shortcut. It's a joke. What do you call a lion wearing a bow tie? A dandy lion! Couldn't find the button quick enough. That's the joke. Bit delayed, wasn't it? Uh, my stream software didn't freeze, but I was going to adjust something and all the filters in the chat just disappeared. I couldn't do anything either during my last 24 hour stream. It never happened before or since since it happens. That, oh, I guess you couldn't reset it because you didn't want to lose your time. Or did you have to do it in the end? That's pretty annoying, isn't it? It's uh, Sod's Law. Things will go wrong when they, when they we read up on the chimney. <laughs> Here are these gents over here. John Hancock. Yo. Hello. Let's be restart, yes. And restart the air. That sucks, wasn't it? What's up? What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the long. I hope having like 40 minutes in, so it's basically a 25 hour stream. <laughs> it went on longer than you. Yeah. Sucks. Cause I don't have any. I, I haven't had problems on my like nightly stream for a long, long while, and then today, like three problems in a row. He's going to give the log to starving children. 
I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... We're nice. Yeah, I heard you said you couldn't Do you know what game you want Don't to play? Don't say draft. You'll only make. Was it random older. stuff? Wimp. Wimp. Well, why don't you put a coat on? I'm wearing a coat, you nitwit. I've even got this blanket which makes Nicholas. me itch, and I'm still freezing. You have a what? Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas? I do, but I don't have a pen. Um... <laughs> what about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as... Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. You mean you have like a childhood it's complex? It's something I can spend a lot of time right. on. Midway Madness the 3 is God is in the power. Rigorously, I rigorously fun it was. Towers flew by. Stream would have been harder nature. without it. Yeah. Oh, I hear ya. Xbox again? There's, a, there's some long games on Xbox, you could do. I'm not giving you suggestions though, you've probably got your own taste. <laughs> I picked up uh, Jedi Outcast on the Xbox the other day. I didn't think it was Xbox, I thought it was only on GameCube. That one I was playing on PC. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Well, I gotta go, dude. Okay, that didn't help. What's Jefferson doing? There's all sorts of people in there, look. A gold-plated quill pen. I'll take that. Hey, keep your hands off that. Oops. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson. Noted scholar, yeah, definitely. musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure. I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas, my name is Thomas. You get 360 again, Scott Cable. I'd love to play Dark Souls 1 on this 29 inch. of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Uh. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Dude, is that like the Constitution? Right now, it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. <laughs> Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? I like the we the people part. That's not in the Declaration of... Say, that's not bad. Maybe we can use it. We're changing the time. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should need to light a fire somehow. His experiences at Valley Forge. He said to burn. Indeed. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? Smoke detector. It's a, it's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. 
me writing this. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Can I use the quill coated pen with a constitution in progress? Hey, keep your hands off that. No. Alright, what was this letter again? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Nothing I can use yet. Um, let's talk to George Washington then. Uh, excuse me. Yes. What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Well, very no, much like tweaking. him, according to my <laughs> wife, Mrs. He's very Washington. cold, yes. We need to warm him up somehow. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there I know what to do. I only cut I know what down to do. cherry trees. I know Family what to do. You understand, cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. I know exactly what to do. Use my mind. Well, I'm not going to go in that door yet. I'll come back. I'm going to do this first because I know what to do. Before I forget. So I need to go in the field. And there's a tree with like orangey things on there, right? Where's the tree? Well, I'll find the tree you're looking at. This one, this one here, look. A kumquat tree. And we're going to use the red paint on the kumquats to make them appear like cherries. There we go. Now it's a cherry tree, you can come chop it down. And then we'll have some wood to light the fire. Yeah. Go and have a look. We also have that letter. Is that going to get rid of that other guy? Hold on. What's the letter here? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Don't know about that. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that road in a minute. Let's talk to uh, George Washington again. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Yes, um, cherry trees. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... I bet you've lost I it. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. <laughs> Do it. I said come down from there at once. Try to understand. I'm stuck in this. <laughs> we changed the future. The tree is gone. Voila. You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Very nice, I like that. We can control her now, but I want to take this, uh, pick up this tree. Can I pick it up or is it too big? No way could I pick that up. Ha, huh. so we need to get the, the log. We need the, we need the log. Scratch one kumquat tree. How are we going to chop it up? We ain't got an ax. There's a can opener. All right, well, maybe we have to do that later. Let's just go back in there and, uh, See what else we can do. There's a door I didn't go in. Yeah, we've, we've freed the, the girl, so let's, let's, let's start. Uh, main hall. We've spoken to all these people. We can't really do anything else at the moment, as far as I'm aware. What's in this door? Oil. Take that. We've got spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti. -o. And 
a water pump. Bitcha. A bitchin' water pump. Bitcha. Uh, we ain't got nothing we can use water with, is there? Just remember it's here, there's a water pump here. Um, pantry, can you open the Bitcha. pantry? Open the drawer in the pantry? No. I can't open it. Swinging door. Another door there. Nothing else apart from the water. Okay, I'm going this way. There's a cabinet. And it's a, I hope this wasn't a brush. Used in the outhouses. Hit that. Don't know why we need it, but I got it. It's already open. If it else with a bucket. It's empty. A bucket we can fill with water. Um we've got anything else in here. It doesn't appear to be anything else. Okay. Back at this one. Oh, wrong way. I mean I don't know why we need water, but I'll uh, fill this up anyway. Oh, I've got a bucket of water. Let's see anything else here. Don't know what to do with this stuff though. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing right now. Might have to go to one of the other people in the future or the, the past. Um, because yeah, we can't chop the tree into logs. What's that? Spyro, hold my phone. There we go. Now I can see chat. Um, need to make a fire or something. Oil. Okay, I don't know what else to do here. This might be. Maybe maybe this is the point where we need to. Uh, I don't want to do that mummy either. Oh, he did go in at this time. He won't go in the last time. Ah, he wouldn't go in there. He, he refused to go in there before. I don't know why. I'm going to save it here. Uh, I'm just going to go over the bog quick. Be right back. It made the life noise, blue blue blue, Alex the kid.
Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? I'm not in the room, there's like a disco going on. <laughs> Where did you learn to fly? Alright. Where are we? Where did you learn to fly? Red Edison, that's what we're looking for. Hey, what is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. He's a professor from the future. I picture in some important scientific journal. Well, he's not bald. Then again, he's got a wig. Maybe not. To pay. Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? Yeah, that's good. I would never associate. Well, there's more that yellow on capture. It doesn't look like it doesn't look yellow on the um the CRT. That's very strange. With one red lens and one blue one. It looks very anemic on the capture on the capture, but on the CRT he's kind of more of a peachy orange colour. Weird. Um what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, Simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Interesting I yeah, know. It could be the, the scan lines doing it. Like making it like more Oh it could just be my my cap my OSSC. They are awesome, aren't they? They do make a difference. We can, there might be an option in the OSSC to tweak it. Let's have a look. Post-processing, I think. Uh, none of these. I don't actually know if you can do it in OSSC. I've never actually tried to change colours. Scan line output options. No, that's not there. Maybe do it in post and OB in uh, OBS. Could be the colours, and I want to mess around with it and break it. Red gain. It's probably red missing. This is a break even. It's alright. This is this is fine. I can't break even. That made no difference whatsoever. Let's put it back to twenty six. I didn't see a difference anyway. Uh, we've also got green yellow gain. It's the first one. It's not doing anything, is it? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'll just leave it. And I'll break it. <laughs> Maybe they hit and uh, it's supposed to work instantly. It works on the it works instantly on the other settings. That's alright, I don't wanna mess with it too much while I'm on live. It might break. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears yeah, that it's I, not warmer my CRT. foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. Yeah. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think he's red, and Ned and Jed are the kids. Ah, well, the left-handed okay. one at any rate. Left-handed is Jed. Some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Yeah, I'm this jet. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Er, sussy. <laughs> Thank you. There's a bulletin board here. It's covered with plans and junk. Is there anything on the bulletin board that we need? It's covered with plans and junk. No way could I pick that up. Well, I could write it on a notepad. Yeah, I could. Uh, yeah. If I was playing this uh, on my own, I probably would write notes. Because I'd have time to actually find a notebook instead of having to fuck around with stream stuff. <laughs> it's fine, I've got a good memory. Really. Honest. It's a lab coat there. Let's have a look at this. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Let's take it. Hey, only employees are allowed oh. to use that lab coat. 
What did you have for breakfast? I remember this. Nothing. I don't have breakfast. Left-handed hammer. That's what we want. Take that. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful... I'm going to swap it with the other hammer for some reason. Oh, well. It's going to make his statue break, isn't it? All right, so we can't do anything else here. We want that coat probably to warm that guy up, but if he can't make a fire. Uh, but there's nothing else I can tell. We've got the plans. We've got that thing to... Oh, yeah, we've got the thing to... We can invite him somewhere. Hold on, where is it? Give letter to Red Edison. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, okay. Give patent application to Red Edison. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Oil, vinegar, and gold. Okay, we've got oil. Give oil to Red Edison. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Cheap wine is like vinegar, isn't it? Give wine bottle to Red Edison. What am I supposed to do with that? Oh, I don't want it. It's kind of like vinegar, though, isn't it? Cheap wine. Um, and gold. Gold. Are we going to get gold? Okay, we need to work that out. So we need vinegar and gold. Let's go up. Fucking hate breakfast. Oh, left hand, did you know? Fathers didn't know are that. driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag ready or not. So about the flag as well. Ha, huh, okay, let's go upstairs and uh, do something with the hammer. I think it was the end room, wasn't it? Upstairs. No, upstairs was the bedroom, so it's in this one. No, no. Go around this corner. This one. Okay, so we're going to pick up the right-handed hammer. And we're going to give him back the left-handed hammer. <laughs> no, I can't hit it anymore. I've lost it. Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? Yay. <laughs> I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. Thanks out of my side for Splinter Cell. Pandora Tomorrow says freedom isn't free. I'm glad we switched places. I just places. think of the Team America song, freedom isn't free. It calls people like you and me. Well. I can't remember that song. But that film's awesome. <laughs> what happened? Oh, the, the statue in the future just changed for some reason. Because now... Now... Ned is on the pedestal. Interesting. I don't know why that matters. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. No swords on the opposite side, look. Okay, there's nothing else to do here. It's Ned or Jad's head. Okay, well the horse to do something with. Don't know what yet. We need his teeth. I don't know why we need his teeth though. Uh, we need some gold. And some vinegar. I think the vinegar has something to do with that wine. Can we open the wine bottle? Hold on, let me try that. Nah, it's a lousy vintage. No. Oh, we've got spaghetti. I haven't got anything for her to make yet. 
and there's nothing in here apart from George sleeps here and the maid comes and cleans. Peter Griffin comes and cleans if you uh, pull the cord. Uh, but I don't know why you'd need her to clean. I, I don't actually know why. Brush. Don't know yet. Okay, let's go back downstairs. We'll go into, maybe we'll go into the future in a minute and see if we can find the other things there. Uh, we've been in the swinging door. We need a coat from the scientists for that, but I think we've got to do the whole thing first. Will you give me my log now? There's a tree. Yo, Tom. Thomas. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? Who are we going to find some gold for? Is it that? Gold plated quill pen. I want the pen. Hey, keep your hands off that. How are we going to get the pen? Excuse me. Yes. Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Doesn't that taste awful? Not if you take them out first. Why do we, we need to swap his teeth with the horse for some reason. <laughs> Don't you have a problem with splinters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the haunts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like, ah, oh, blast it. Well, what about dry rot? Hardly. Where could I get some of those? They're rather expensive. Mine were custom made for me by my good friend, Paul Revere. Didn't he ride a horse through town naked? I believe you have him confused with someone else. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Cool. Extremely. Okay. Don't know how to get the pen yet. Especially this time capsule. Don't quite understand yet. It looks like a martini shaker. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. I Future put the wine generations in there. are in your debt. Whoa. I put the wine in the time capsule, I don't know why. <laughs> but it's in there now. The center of the future, I guess. Um Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do at the moment here. So I'm gonna do a save and I'm gonna go to one of the other characters and we'll have a look at them. Uh so let's go to the uh Get me out of here! Oh, I arrested. haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt so The human race has been enslaved 200 years sleep. into the future. Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Probably Mark. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred, Fred was such Fred, a shame to the Ned. whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Well, who are you then? 
I'm Zed Edison. Zed. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. <laughs> and Ved. Nice to meet you. What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? Well, I've got a lot of rotting in jail to do, so... Yeah, me too. Weird Ved Edison. I think they're both cheating. Why don't I talk to him? I think they're both cheat. I think they're both cheating. Probably Mark. Hey, they can cheat. You can't. Why have I got a scalpel? I think they're both cheating. Okay, I can't talk to them. Oh, here we go. Talk to. Best not bother them. They're busy cheating. Oh, right, can't do from that. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. <laughs> Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. <laughs> on the lawn, okay. I think I need to plug that in, but I don't think it's long enough to reach anywhere. It's unplugged. Chrono John. Uh, I don't see anything else I can do. I can put the I can put the scalpel into the toilet. Okay, I flushed it. So now that will go to uh, the other guy. But yeah, I don't see anything else we can do here. Former motel. Yoo hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Okay, we're locked in here. All right, I don't think we can do anything else in here yet. Let's go to the other guy. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Okay. What's up with her? She looks all fucking... Jeez. She looks like she's hard on drugs. Um, yeah, I don't know. What's this? Mug. Can I take the mug? Pick up the mug. I don't think I can pick that up. Get away from that! Okay, we can't do it from here. Don't have a hamster for the generator. Hey, Dr. Fred! I cannot believe it! How's the game treating you? It's alright. Uh, I think uh, I've, I've like solved one puzzle, maybe. <laughs> don't You're know, we'll just really get exploring all the places with all the characters that. to see what's around. Sorry. Find all the jitters. items. Maybe you should switch to uh, do you fair, everyone in this game looks like they've taken no, something or of it. Yeah, it's the art style. Sleeping. I like it. The dreams would come. Well, gotta go save the world. Good luck. So where are the... I, I sent some items back in time in the toilet. If I... 
Right, if I... Oh, here we go. Scalpel and toilet. So I can pick that up. So now I've got a scalpel. And there should be a time capsule with the wine as well somewhere. Um, but yeah, that doesn't help me at the moment. I don't know why I'd need a scalpel. Unless we're going to shank this dude. Um, let's have a look upstairs. All the items. Items? Eames? What? Eames? Have you been playing anything on your Retron 5? Oh, it's right now. Payphone. Oh, I can, can, I, can I scalpel the uh, gum off the floor? Items. Okay. I probably cut myself. Just try. Come on. Uh, humor me. Use the scalpel. I probably cut myself. Ugh, he won't pick it up. He's a pussy. All right. Uh. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. Pick it up then. It's stuck to the floor. Okay, let's look in the office. Long time ago, but not recently. What's this portrait? Looks like Doctor Fred wearing a powdered wig. Okay, so that's, doctor, way, that's the first doctor. But I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. I've got a Swiss bank book. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. A phone. This is Darth Vader on the calendar, look. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Can I take that? I have three just like it at home. Oh, okay. Let's look at the phone. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine. I don't have anyone to call. Are you going to call? No one. Family photos. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Let's open this drawer as well. What's that? A boo-boo be gone? What's that? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Correctional f fluid, that's going to be useful, useful, useful in the past, isn't it? For the uh, constitution, maybe. Okay, I think we're done in this room. Wait, what was that? It's just a deep hole thing. Um, service bell. Let's look in here. This is where the constitution was being written earlier. Uzo the Climb, what the fuck? I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Is it a... a toy? I can't. Uzo's intimidating. We've talked to Uzo. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Is he inflatable? Because I can scalp him. Looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Shank him with that scalpel. I hate that clown. Uh, he's really going to. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. We've got a box of laughs. Pride, pride from his dead body. The voice of Uzo in a box. Nice. Uh, gross. Got some grating. What's that do? Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Fireplace. Neat. Hey, going? boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. Oh, I tell teeth. you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Nice cigars. Nice. These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want a cigar? Uh, lay one of those. And I'm sure, on me. lay one of those Havanan babies on me. <laughs> Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Not creepy at all. Well, you were right! <laughs> Nice. Real Joker. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. That 
cracks me up every jogging time. Series. Uh, let's take the cigar lighter. Hands off, boy! That's a precision-made novelty device. Table covered with ink. Cigar. Why don't we add the cigar lighter? Oh, junk, not ink. I don't think I can pick that up. Uh, rubber chicken. Uh, mounds of car party garbage. Disgusting. Vat of teeth. I want the teeth. Let's take the chatter and teeth. Hold still, will ya? Hold still, will ya? Come on, I won't hurt you. Slippery little devil. I can't get hold of it. Hold still, will ya? I can't get hold of it. It's gonna I go in the grate. Hold of it. Why are you chasing it? Oh, it's loading. Something's happening. Any vacation plan this week? Yeah, I'm off um, this coming week. But this is like a spur of the moment holiday. But the week after, we're going away. So there'll be no streams that week. Just going to the, the beach. We're going to Wales for a week. Five days. Let's do something with the kids. Missed. They're going to go in the, in the grate now. Come on, I won't <laughs> hurt you. Just keep going. Come on, I won't hurt you. I can't the, get the hold gum? of it. The gum? Are they going to go to the gum? I can't get hold of it. Come I'm on, gonna, I'm I gonna be persistent you. here because I think Missed. something's happening. Come on, I won't hurt you. Slippery little devil. Missed. Missed. I've cornered it now. Hold still, will you? Slippery little devil. Damn it! What are we gonna do to this? These teeth. Can't shank these, can I? Swiss bank book. So whack it. I'd rather not. Jumpy little sucker. Slippery little devil. I can't pick him up. Hold still, will ya? I thought they were going to go down the grate. But they didn't. They just ran away. Vat of teeth. Looks like they all escaped. No, I don't see anything else here. So there's... There's a teeth we've got to get, and there's also this lighter we've got to get, but we can't get it yet, because he won't let me have it. Because he's a real joker, isn't he? Uh, should we take up Uzo's clown? Let's take this to take the, clone, the clown. It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my conscience. No. Can we go down here, then? Oh. Oh, okay. Slippery little devil. I'd rather not. I need to go out and come back so the, the teeth reset. <laughs> Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. Oh, the teeth are still there. Slippery little devil. I want the teeth to go into that grate. Maybe I got a little carried away. Maybe I got a little carried away. Are they running away from me? Okay, they're running away. Okay, we can chase them now. Alright, so we chase them now. They should go down that grate. Missed. Slippery little devil. Hold still, will ya? Slippery little devil. Missed. Oh, we don't need to pick him up. We just have to chase him. Look. There we go. Now we can pick him up. We have some chattering teeth. Oh, yeah. Okay. Neat. The teeth are going to be for that guy in the past. But we've got a fork. Let's take a fork. Remember, we need some vinegar and um, some gold. Hmm, brown water. Let's give it to the, the, the professor in the I past. I think I could lubricate my car with this stuff. Some coffee. And some decaf coffee. 
Regular coffee, decaf coffee. Interesting. My, what a big coffee maker. Don't know what it's for yet. We've got micro microwave. The Duke Memorial Brand I'm, Microwave. I hope that it's not going to make me, but I... I <laughs> We're gonna get a hamster at some point, and there's a microwave. Don't just saying, just 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 saying. Let's go in it. Do not sit on machines. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Is there anything in there? It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. It's We've got nothing to dry at the moment. Dryer. We could dry something later. We've got a dime for it. There's a washer as well. It looks pretty broken. I don't think this thing will ever work again. A funnel as well. Okay, any ideas for your mini? No. The guinea pigs are quite tame now, apart from one that's like got really, really sharp claws, rips your skin off. Little bastard. It looks pretty broken. Okay, I don't want to do the funnel. I think we've got all the items. There's a dryer in here we could use later, maybe. What's this up here? Okay, we haven't found any vinegar, have we? Huh. Okay, let's uh, go upstairs, I think. Can't get the gum off the floor, it won't let me. Could I use the, 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 the fork to pick it up? It's really stuck to the floor. No. I need the I think I need the gum. I don't know why. I think I need it for the horse's teeth. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it. It's spiny. Why have we got a cactus? Last movie I saw, someone shoves one down a garbage disposal. Oh, what? They don't show it, but your imagination does it for most of the movies like that. That's what they don't show really well done. Oh, is that the one? You talked about that. What was that one called? Maybe you watched the other day. What's that? Rack for flyers. Go okay, outside. It's the mummy. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? You talk about Kevin. It was good. What type of movie is that? It's like a, is it a horror or thriller or what? No, no, I haven't heard of that film. I did see how you mentioned it the other day though. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You haven't changed a whole lot. He's dead though, why are we talking to him? Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. Oh well. Depending on who you ask, it could be a horror or thriller. I'd say thriller. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Bird bath. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. Okay, I'm not sure what to do now. It's a mailbox. It's closed. It's empty. Neat. What the hell are you doing? Wash me. Uh, we're going to talk to this guy. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked It's in the same place the as the, uh, the, the broken carriage. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. I don't see your keys in the car. 
Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. See you later. Yeah. My obvious thief is obvious. Let's leave him alone. Pipe stuff and crystal clear water. What beautiful clear water. Mmm, that looks inviting. Okay. Nothing else we can do here, I don't think. Yeah, what to do next? Hey, CPL Hello. Gaming. For my favourite LucasArts adventure, this. Nice. I haven't played this one before, this is the first playthrough. I've done Monkey Island and Grim Fandango. I think I prefer Monkey Island over Grim Fandango, but I love both. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good weekend. Don't know what to do that. Do with that. I don't think I've been upstairs with him yet, with Bernard. Let's just have a look upstairs. Ice machine. It's pretty darn cold. It's pretty darn cold. I've got nothing to put in it at the moment, though. This is George Washington's room, wasn't it? This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today. Is that Stan? For the special rock bottom introductory <laughs> price of $2 million. It's moving his the hand like Stan. The number to call Stan. is 1-800-STAR-WARS. <laughs> Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Wait, we can ring that. We got what? We got the phone number. Fickle Up fingers. too late? Try a fickle fingers fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Uh, okay, let's do that. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna do, but I'm gonna do it. I was waking. Is it waking him up? I wasted my dime though. Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing, all in all, a fine phone. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-3527. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. How are we going to get money on that account? Something to do in the past, right? We've got to invest in the past to get money in the future. Hmm. We'll work that out later. Let's try and talk to this sleeping guy. Ahem. Do you ever inhale flies when you snore like that? I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. I'd better be going now. Unfortunately, the, the shaky bed thing didn't wake him up. Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. What is the surveillance camera in the bush? It's like an Airbnb. Hi there. Uh, <laughs> he's got a sweater. Oh, we need the sweater in the past. The the gold My guy is really the guy me, is I really. I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Huh. That's what we need. So we need another dime to roll him off completely. Then we have the sweater and we can give it to that cold guy in the past. The only dime is that one on the floor downstairs, stuck down to the gum. So we need a way to get it off. Okay. I have to remember this. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. I don't think I can pick that up. I mean, you never dime. Let's look in the other rooms. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm oh, ending my sad. novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Hmm. 
I can't even do this right. Uh, okay. I can't okay. reach that from here. Well, we have to swap the flag gun for the lighter gun, right? So we need to get in there first. Disappear in ink. What's that do? Neat. That's gonna be useful for the constitution later, isn't it? So this is these are all things that look like they're gonna be useful for uh, the guy in the past. But we need to send them down the toilet for him. But how do I how do I get in here then? Can I talk to him? Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses. I like the paint on the wall. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I that's send what, them all cat over crusher, the that's world what you need. no one responds. Dogs playing poker on the sofa behind, on the wall, on the big, plain, empty once. wall. <laughs> Get that. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Would you say that existence constitutes purpose? Oh, who cares? Look at those nails that are all stick in the wall. Like me, who couldn't make it in a real profession. I use that. I don't like drilling on my walls because I've had a bad experience drilling into electrical <laughs> things. So I use those. Uh, you get sticky pads of Velcro on, and you like put one on the wall and one on the picture, and then push. They're supposed not to destroy. Well, they pull the paint off, but they uh, they don't destroy the walls at least. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. <laughs> what did you say your job was again? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Never mind. Oh, I don't know what to do here. I want the flag gun, but we can't get in because he's depressed. And we have no way of cheering him up. He's getting music pumped in from somewhere. We'll come back later. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Stole hey, your up, then. what's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. <laughs> uh... Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. 
Oh, I wonder if we can play music to the guy next door. Really? Which quality is that? For you, man, for you! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we have a huge following in the club scene. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. We can generate hey, a lot more Hey, Amy. How do you do? Have a good weekend. Um, oh, Are you no. working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap the, like, on the Forehead. Sinks and stuff. I've got a few tracks hooked oh, up through the stereo if you want to hear them. <laughs> That's you great. You just matched the symbol. Yeah. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah. Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. Green technical. World domination plans. Uh-oh. This looks like it might work. Bowling ball. I want to. I want to take the bowling ball. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Oh, he was. Um, speaker. Hoagie would really love these. I'd rather not. Okay, I want to put the music on for the guy next door. But I don't think I can yet. Bowling ball, green tentacle, speaker. Oh, we go. On off button. It's sticking out. Push. Wow, this is loud. Oh, is it going to go off? Fru Fru Emeralds stolen. Circular Prince left behind. There we go. Maybe this guy like us. And I thought glow in the dark fake doo doo was such a good idea. <laughs> glow in the dark fake doo doo. Um, does this help the music? I can help cheer you up. The oh, I played a bit of Ninja Guy when he was here on the OG Xbox. He had to leave, but I think he'd want to give it a proper go at some point. Do a stream with him for that game. Is that good? I haven't played. I've got a copy of that. I haven't played it yet. I think I saw Cool Runner playing it. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. It's actually good. Hard though. Nice. I haven't tried the 3D ones myself. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Yeah. Okay, maybe I can't cheer you up. Don't worry about it. I'd only get depressed again. Uh, never mind. Just see a retro pickup. I'll do it in a second. I thought the music would cheer him up, but it didn't work. It's going to the head. <laughs> don't, don't say it like that. It's very loud in there. What's this video tape? Oh, wait, this is going to wake the guy up, isn't it? So make sure you haven't missed anything before I go somewhere else. Hold on. Stormtrooper helmet, stereo, speaker. All right, let's go go to that room where that guy was who was asleep, and we wanted to steal the jumper, the the sweater. In there. He's still asleep. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. Damn it! I'm gonna wake him up. I should say it like I always do. Take a break and spoon your head. <laughs> Alright. Let me, uh... Let's, wait, let's turn this music off. Slide. Do you mean push the speaker? What's that? Oh, wow. Whew. That's loud. There's What's no the label, it's probably blank. 
Uh, so someone, someone fell off the ceiling downstairs. Um, should we go grab it and then we'll come back up? And then we'll spin our head and then we'll, uh, I'll go for the a toilet break. <laughs> Let's see what this is. I'm curious. What was it? It fell. A f fake bath? What? That's sick. I think it's fake. Oh, I hope so. You just touched it, my buddy. Nice. All right. Well, we got something off the ceiling. I thought it was going to wake that guy up, but it didn't work, did it? Um, yeah, retro pickups. I went to the uh, the game store yesterday, so I got a few bits on the NES. Let's have a look. Retro pickups of the week. Ah, oh, not connecting off. I'll put it on big cam, but it's going to be a really awkward angle. Like, because of, yeah. <laughs> the camera's looking down on me today. Hi. Uh, they're free Kirby things. I got some free Kirby things when I bought the stuff. Um, Okay, NES things. Not all of them, because we need to save some for next week. Tomorrow. I'll stream tomorrow night. Yeah, I'll show you these two, though. So these are some NES games I saw. Look this angle. We can see more now. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess you can see more of, like, that shelf, but there's only, like, consoles on there. You can see my computer, look. I'm, I'm, it's like, uh, what's it called? I think of the words. Anyway, at least two. So this is uh, Asterix on the NES, uh, and I'm going to be playing this. This I thought this this is I think this is the same as the one on the Master System, but I think I'd rather play the NES version. Um, so we're going to play this one probably soon because I need some more games to add to my 100 completed things. Um, but I picked this up because it's a really clean copy. Look how clean it is. It looks really good, and. Um, yeah, it came with a book as well. So that's Asterix. Oh my, that's an expensive one. No, it wasn't expensive. Well, relatively. It's like modern game price. This one was £50. And that is expensive. However, if you're buying a modern game, it would cost the same amount. That's how I justify it. <laughs> the other one was a lot cheaper because it didn't have a book, but I got the book off eBay and it's coming this week. And you know this one. Good old Festus Quest. Now I hear the PAL version isn't as bad as the NTSC version. I forget the reason why, but apparently this is a bit easier um, and less annoying. Uh, but it's that, it's that RPG with Uncle Festa. We have to explore. Look at the cover. Even he knows it's shit. I know. It's good though. I like it. I like the art on this. <laughs> it's Sunsoft. It's got to have something good going for it, right? I always praise Sunsoft games. I, I can't imagine they'd made a stinker. So, um... You know, maybe, maybe soon. You played 15 minutes. Yeah, but I heard that I heard the NTSC one was worse. I don't know what the difference was. I have to Google it. But um, apparently, Power One's a bit more playable. Yeah, I spam ahead. They're, they're my two pickers. Going to share. <laughs> Thanks to the Redeemer Mill. All right, let's get back upstairs. Oh, I thought it was like thousands of pounds. Apparently, I remember it wrong. Yeah, not that one. Neat. Don't know if there is one that much, Ronnie. Yeah, that wasn't too much. Unless I got really lucky, but I doubt it. The game shop was called uh, Super Game Shack in Leicester. They don't have an online store. They just literally sell from their, their store. So, yeah. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, Melissa. Thanks for the luck. Have you had a good weekend? Uh, I'm trying to collect as many stat points as I can. Stat points? What? Is this for the, the Tony Hawk's game? Oh, right, yeah, the classic mode. Leicester Unlikely's got a store. No, oh, the, 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 the place is called Leicester. <laughs> Not Leicester the Unlikely. Although it does sound the same now I, I, I'm talking about it. <laughs> Where are we now? Nurse Edna. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Shay, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I know it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? 
I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. So that's the statue. In the past, we've changed it from Jed to Ned, and it changed directions. So he's now right-handed rather than left-handed. How's Dr. Fred doing? I don't know why we did that, well, though. he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. The week off but college, I still have a bunch of homework to do. Oh, damn it. How unfair is that? You're like, full-time education, they send homework with you as well. It's stupid. Um, how do you wreck the fine? Oh, we need to know how this. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. Huh. So we need to find the combination for the safe in the past, maybe? How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. We have the we have the two coffees. Do you think we're supposed to swap them around so that Fred can't so Fred sleeps so we can steal all this stuff? What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. See, this but is giving me I'm getting a lot of items and I'm finding a lot of things to remember, but we haven't put all the pieces together yet to find out what to do next. We just find a random stuff that we have to work out. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. Okay. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt. We can record the combination by putting the video in the, the recorder. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> <laughs> Think a little bit young for you. Um, use videotape. With... What was it the Flexatron? Where is it? She's in the way, though. VCR. Get away from that! Okay, we can't do it. There's something to do with that, because we're going to need... Why is there an owl on the wall? It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Even think about it. How are we going to get rid of Edna? Creepy. Not this change size. Didn't do anything though, did it? It's signed Edna. Thanks for giving me the fever. Okay, she's over there now. Get away from that. No, we can't do anything here at the moment. But we yeah, have something to do with the video and the combination. That he puts it in too fast, so we can record it and then we can steal the combination. I don't know what the, why the statue changed. That makes no sense to me yet. Who's hey, this guy? Aren't you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I. Hey, do I know you? Yeah, it's Amsterdam. I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell. But I you have to get him in the head before the balls comes out. Belmont's Revenge, 2023. Happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those, those bad thoughts anymore. Now He's a I changed stamps. man. Click stamps. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. He's reading the newspaper, isn't he? That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement. 
sometimes, but then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. <laughs> I'll be okay himself. if I just focus on my stamps. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Yeah. <laughs> he said he's not, he's not as smart as his whole hamster, and he's just sitting there reading the news. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like ding. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams. Oh, microwave. <laughs> it's a microwave. Um. Well, hope I didn't get you Something to do that microwave. Bye. Did say about the hamster and the microwave. It's not good. Peace be with you. All right, can we take the hamster? Took him. My ham. Oh no. Oh no. I really want to, but it's it's really sick. But it's for the ga the game must want I've me to. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. Can I use the computer first? The fuck has happened? Oh, <laughs> I got really worried there. We're playing Maniac Mansion, the real game. Sid, we're we picking our players. Look, we are playing. Maniac Mansion in Maniac Man uh, in sorry in Dead Tentacle. Twenty years ago today. I need the, I need I, I don't want to play it now though. I want to carry on the adventure. This is cool, pretty cool though. I like it when there's games within games. It's pretty sick, isn't it? Is that computer speaker? Holy shit! It's a computer speaker. Can you hear that? That's using old-fashioned computer speakers, that is just my old uh, beast doing that. Obviously, the <laughs> it's just going off on the capture, though. Uh, now what do I do? How do I quit? Oh, it sounds off. No, I need to quit the game. It's F10. F8 is reset. F1. F I, I don't know how to quit the freaking game. <laughs> I don't want to select Dave. I want to leave. Oh, slave load to continue. Save load, continue. Now I want to quit. Bloody hell, this isn't giving any documentation. I don't know what to do, everyone. I don't know how to leave it. Oh. Quit. Maniac. Mansion. DOS. Stuck, oh, so, stuck inside Maniac Mansion playing Dot. Control and C. Oh, Alt and X. Alt and X. There we go, we're at. Not Alt and F4. Not Alt and F4. <laughs> I've turned the sound off now, though. Oh, no, so the capture's down. All right, hold on. Let me fix this. Why do I have to go on the computer in the game? Did it show up for you though? Did you see Maynet Mansion in the game? That's pretty cool. I wish Google had existed when I was kid. <laughs> I know, right? My capture card didn't like it though. I think the resolution changed. Fingers crossed. You to come back. I did see the game. I don't know why it went off. It's died. What's going on here?
Did I lock the cable? Oh, there we go. I think I locked the cable. I think I, when I moved the uh, microphone arm, I think I pulled the cable out. That was my fault. But yeah, it was working. Okay, we're, we're back. We're not going to go back on the computer because we've, 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 that was cool though. Uh, let's save our progress, learn from our mistakes, and uh, go to the microwave. <laughs> it's because there's cables everywhere. I'm covered in cables. I'm going to go up here first. I've got cables all over the place because we're using like real hardware on the, the sign canvas as well, which is down here for the uh, MIDI music. It's all proper stuff today. There was an argument online whether or not this was optimized for MIDI or uh, MT32, but it was easier to use the uh, sign canvas, so I'll just use that. Trapdoor. Walk to door. What's in here then? Where's the channel point redeem for the clean? It's clean as it can be. It's just a lot of cables required to do this. Actually, there's, there's no sound. There's no audio, is there? I, I think I turned it off by accident. It, no. One of the buttons said uh, sound, and I, I clicked off it. I'm pretty sure one of these buttons is going to put the sound on and off. <laughs> if not, I have to reload it. No, I don't restart. I don't know. All right, I'm going to tell what I'm going to do. I'm going to save. Save. And I'm going to quit. Yes. Yeah, no voice acting. Let's go back into it like this. It's not exactly the Ritz. I'm back of the room. Uh, okay. Let's see anything else in here. We can go out the window. But in the past, there was another side to this room. There's not now, though. I can see the roof and some... A crank. Take that. We got a crank. A crank bot, a flagpole. What have we got to make a flag for? I don't think I can pick. A shaft is normally attached here to supply a rotary motive force, which is transmitted up the pole. There's the pulley. Welcome novelty goods convention. Welcome novelty goods convention. Not much to see in there. Same room, isn't it? Tentacle rescues returns animals. What? What? Tentacle rescues returns emerald. To pretend to be a hero. Interesting. All right. There's a novelty convention here. Why isn't the novelty guy go, novelty guy go to the novelty convention to make himself happy? Okay. You know where we're going now, though, don't you? I'll show you. We're going right downstairs. Uh, we're going in the side room. No, that's the office. Wrong way. Uh, where was it? Through here. I still need that gum off the floor and the dime that comes out of it. Neat! Nah. No? <laughs> he doesn't want to. Nah. He doesn't want to put the mark there. Let's open the door first. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. He doesn't want me to use the, the microwave. Duke Memorial brand microwave. Okay, we're not putting the hamster in the microwave, everyone. Don't Neat. worry. 
Um, so what we are going to do is put the hamster downstairs to power something. In the lab, which was down here. Okay, let's see what the uh, hamster does. So if I use the hamster with the generator. Woo, look at them go. That's all it does. It doesn't do anything else though. Huh, okay. It's part of the puzzle, but not the, the piece we need. Uh, so I'm gonna flush some stuff down to the past. So the f I'm gonna flush the, uh, the teeth down to the past because there's a horse of teeth. Uh, the Swish Bank Boots. Swish, Swiss. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Can't put it down the toilet. And you do one thing at a time. Okay, go back to the past. I was gonna go to the loo quick. I'll be right back. thinking we can send things to the future and the past right I don't know if they can useful useful for the future a crank no and I got Sunday man I love fug too have I said that before watching you on the TV ah, thanks oh fug <laughs> Tony Hawk's underground didn't get your uh, abbreviation there <laughs> it's nice to have a lazy Sunday for once. Not that I uh, don't miss my, my children running around, but uh, it's nice to have a break every so often. Such a long time, yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Hello there. Thank you, Emil. 
Thank you, Emils. Okay, do you think I'm doing the right thing sending these teeth back? I think I think we there's something to do with teeth in the past, because we've got the horse with the teeth. We need the jumper, really, to stop that guy being chilly. I think. I don't know what the significance of this mummy is. I really don't yet. It doesn't do anything. I'll tell you what, though. There's no door behind them. I mean, there should be. Can we move him? That would not be respectful. No. Besides, I might get caught. If we send a load in the future, will it be a kid? <laughs> It's unfertilized. Um, there was a guy at the front, wasn't there as well? Right, let's go to the, the time machine and take that thing. Maybe the Bitch. items are just, maybe the items are just jumbled up. Like maybe someone needs something else. Like we've got a brush and some spaghetti for some reason here. So I can take these teeth. So now I've got some chattering teeth. A hammer, some spaghetti, a brush, a full bucket of water. Uh, I wonder why they're colour coded. A can opener, a letter, red paint. Can also send stuff to the future future why would spaghetti be Sometimes needed Sometimes i like to eat it raw a brush what else we got a fork is that the fifth for today is what the fifth for today huh uh-huh <laughs> what, what, oh, are you keeping cap? Probably. <laughs> I know I'm bad. Yes, it's, it's probably the fifth. That's why I keep going to the toilet so much. Videotape. Disappear, disappear in ink. That's going to be useful for the past. That's, uh... Oh, how do you do it? Use... Let's give him the, the disappearing ink as well. She's got nothing, but she, she maybe needs some items. A fork, coffee, decaf, another coffee. Got a funnel. I don't know why we've got a funnel. Videotape. Bath. Fake bath. Oh, this is tricky. I don't know what to do. Sugar is my addiction too. I guess we all have some kind of addiction on you humans. Yeah. I do have the sugar free stuff at least, so it's just chemicals, it's not sugar. Just the chemicals. A crank. Why do we have a crank? Can someone give me a book title name for my sim to write? <laughs> Wait, are you playing The Sims? Nice. Tell me a genre for it. <laughs> the evil nod. It can be any genre. <laughs> it can literally be anything. Bank book. Boo boo be gone. What's that? It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Correctional fluids. That's going to be useful in the past. Let's get, let's put that in the uh, the time machine. And let's give him the boo boo be gone. Okay. I've got a hammer. I I don't know where to even put the spaghetti or the brush. Box of laughs. 
the voice of Uzo in a box. Why though? Scalpel textbook. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Oh, that sounds. That sounds like something they could use in the past. Right, let's let's put that in the past. But I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go give that to the uh, the professor. Let's go give the professor the textbook. He might like that. Let's see what happens if we give the professor the book. Right. I need to do a... Uh, put this on a timer. Uh, well, there is a Discord now, by the way, everyone. I sometimes put secret pickups on there. And by sometimes, I mean I've put secret pickups on pickups on there once. <laughs> Because it's only been out for a week. Um, okay, book. Give textbook to Red Edison. What am I supposed to do with that? Read it. Ugh. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. I bet this would work better than a sleeping pill. What? Okay, that's no good. Uh, I want the, I want the lab coat as well. Hey, only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Damn it. Okay, I kind of hit a wall now. Don't know what to do next. Something to do with teeth. I mean, there's loads of things I could do. I already wrote the evil knob. <laughs> Not by dawn. Not by dawn. Um, huh. The horse is upstairs, right? Let's talk to the horse. Hi. Hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. The horse soaks his dentures in here. I don't think I want this. Where I put the teeth? Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Is it? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, my dude. Okay, I don't know what to do with those. Um, disappearing ink. We will be gone. Try brushing his teeth? Oh, fucking no. I don't wanna. No. I've got any can opener for as well. Bitcha. Who needs a can opener? Where is everyone? She's in a prison cell. They're cheating at cards. I don't see that as helpful to me. Uh, Zed? Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only human. Okay. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Coffee. Hold. Hold on. Pick me up. That's decaf. He's gonna get sleepy now. 
No, 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 that's not how coffee works. <laughs> that's not how coffee works. Must open safe. Uh. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Oh, this this is what we want to happen, but I need the combination. <laughs> what the fuck? Um. Okay, so you give him decaf coffee. Decaf coffee, and he goes sleepwalking for some unknown reason. Um. But then he opens the safe, and we need to get the safe combination, but we need the nurse to get the hell out of the way so we can record the combination. She's in here. He's on the he's on the monitor, look. It's Dr. Fred's office. I can see the safe. I can almost make out the combination. It's... Get away from there! Darn. How are we going to get rid of Nurse Edna? Excuse me. Hi there, my little piddle pie. <laughs> Let's talk about your electronic gear again. Anytime, hot stuff. <laughs> Gosh, dirty old woman. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom wall. Yeah, one of them. Don't touch. <laughs> I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> What's that guy doing there? Is he holding a gun to his head and humping a dog or something? The fuck? That's the sleepy guy in the bed. Um. Okay. Okay. Obviously, I don't want backseating because I want to work it out myself. But if you've never played this game before, feel free to throw ideas at me. If you've played it before or not to do, don't tell me. Don't tell anyone. We need to work this out together. So, I need to get rid of this nurse. What about if I give her like a proper pick me up? I'd rather not. No. Box of laughs. Do you know the the guy? I, I'm gonna try that actually. Where's the purple tentacle? Is man of the year? Tentacle visits White House. Okay, there's a guy, the upset guy, in here. No, oh, this room, this room. And okay. I thought glow in the dark fake doo doo was such a good idea. Let's give him the uh, the box of laughs. He needs a good cheer away. up. I'm busy moping. That didn't work. Uh, box of laughs didn't work. Oh, it's some fake sick. Here you go. Go away. I'm busy moping. To be honest, I was definitely played it before. Guess that counts me out from giving hints. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's something I got really desperate in the in, in the uh, Jones game, and someone helped me out, and that was needed because I I basically couldn't see one of the items I need to pick up. But I think we found all the items we need. We just need to work out where to use them. This is the puzzle. Uh, uh, leftovers, phone. Nothing like cut a chain. I don't really think we need to break into his room. And there's a guy in here we need to wake up. I've seen the game before, but I hadn't really watched it being played. He's still making his pitch. We tried that. That moved him over a little bit. We need to move him all the way off. I tried the music on him. It didn't work. Is he scared of hamsters? Nah. Can we poke him with a fork? Wrong size. What? Huh? I'd rather not. Can we put a funnel in his in his in his butt? I'm not sure I like that idea. 
No. Uh, can we shank him? Wrong size. It would look like an accident, maybe later. <laughs> Hmm. Candy machine. We've done nothing with that yet, have we? Ice machine. I hate angry dog. They're outside. They're alright. They're uh, they are outside. They don't need to be let out today. I need to get the gum off the floor. I haven't worked that out either. It's, it's, the professor's in here trying to undo a safe, right? Can I take that when he opens it? He almost took my hand off with the door. He almost took my hand off with the door. No. Nope. What can we give this dickhead? No, no, it's probably some kind of practical joke. No, no, it's probably some kind of practical joke. Cigar sales, bro. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like Private that? Private cockfuck, you're a sight for sore ass. <laughs> Medal of Honor European Assault. If you want this cigar, we need to swap his gun with the one upstairs. To get the one upstairs, we need to make the guy open the door. And he won't do it yet. I told you it was a bad habit. I don't think there's anything else in there. Disgusting. I mean, can I can I pick up the garbage? I don't even want to touch that gunk. No. Fireplace. Grating. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Coffee maker. Got the dryer here, don't want to do with that yet. The washer's broken. Nothing else here. What the hell do I do next? There's a guy robbing the thing at the front. again in the game. <laughs> Stop do that. Whatever we've got to do is here. We've got to get rid of this woman. Creepy. Why do we change the statue? It doesn't make sense. We changed the statue to be the opposite direction. It did nothing. Let's go back. Hold on. Let's, 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 try, this out. let's try and work this shit out. So there's a statue, and we can swap it back over to the right. But that wouldn't do anything, would it? Let's just do it and see what happens. If I, if I pick up the hammer... He's not putting the hammer down. So obviously, you don't have to do that again. Okay, fine. 
Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. We don't know. You know what would be worth money in the future? A very expensive bottle of wine. We put the wine in the... So wait, wait a minute, earlier on we put the wine in the time capsule, right? That's something else we've done recently. And it was going to bury it at the, in the yard. And we've got a can opener. If I give the can opener to the guy in the future, can he find the time capsule and open it? Or am I overthinking this? Let's go see if we can find it. There must have been a reason that we had the time capsule. We put the wine in there, and he said he was going to seal it up and bury it. Let's go have a look. Plus, I've probably forgotten something outside. Still not how to get this gum. Okay, so where will the time capsule be? <laughs> Dead cousin Ted. Can't see anything here. We're gonna look for like a, a mound or something, right? That's probably gonna be under the freaking car. Drat. It's really dirty. Wash me. Wash me. Do I need to wash the car? Why would I need to wash the car? Have I got a bucket of water I could send? Do I need to wash the car? Do I need a sponge? Wow. <laughs> so many things I need to work out in this game. I've hit the can opener. I don't wanna. We can't put the the, the water can't we can't put that in the in the toilet. I don't wanna. It doesn't work. Okay. <sighs> Spaghetti letter. What's the letter You're again? brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. What about giving that to the guy the kite? I forgot about that item. I'm concentrating. No. Excuse me, mister. Mr. Power? That would be me. Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy. Not bad. Well, see ya. Carry on. I don't know what the uh, purpose of this guy is. I've got ink and all sorts. What is the ink? Suggestion box. Constitution in progress. Use boo boo be gone. I don't think that would look better white. Oh, it's to make something white? What could we use that for then? Not funny enough. I need that gold painted pen, don't I? 
Uh, excuse me. Yes. Do you think you want the teeth? Gee, I gotta go now. Give teeth to George Washington. Could you use these? No thanks. I already have some false teeth. Ah, damn it. Yo, Tom. Thomas. So, how's the time capsule going? Very well. Now that you've provided that fine, recent vintage wine, I plan to bury it this evening. Yeah. How goes the framing of the Constitution? Not so well. We can't decide whether we should allow a free press or impose a tax. I sure hope someone gives us a useful suggestion soon. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? I think uh, we might need, to <laughs> might need to ask someone what to do. I'm a little bit lost now. All these, all these loose ends. Must have been something really obvious. This stupid mummy. For? What's up? Know where I can get some gold? Maybe a gold watch? Great hat, man. Later, dude. Don't know what he's for. <sighs> Let's go upstairs. There's literally nothing in George's room. Half of no person comes a clean. Shout dogs. Uh, she's making flags. Can I take that? Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. I don't know much about design. I wouldn't know a mistake on there if it shook my hand. Said a victorious happy glorious. Said this song. Ben's bed. Ah, uh, what do I do? Is there a horse? Why do we want the horse's teeth? Let's give the let's give the horse the uh, Charon teeth. I don't wanna. <sighs> don't wanna. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't sing the national anthem, Emil. I'm not very patriotic. Hey, Freddy Dingo. Whoa, hey guys, friend. what's up? How did you get a Sunday away from the kids? They went to the grandparents. How's it going? Talk slowly because I'm taking notes. Well, for some reason, they wanted the children for the next two weekends, so uh, we were happy to oblige. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, my keyboard's gone. Fuck. Messed up. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. CPR, I don't think we gave you a shout out earlier, did we? Do one of those as well. No, they're off. Bye. Uh, more pointing clicks, look. There, there is a difficult ah, okay. code game. No problem. Well. <laughs> so you're doing bro that was a uh, broken sword, wasn't it? How did it go? Do they want a pair of dingoes? I, I, I think they might be over the head, to be fair, with ours. <laughs> yeah. So I'm spending my weekend confused on what to do next on this game. The horse soaks his dentures in here. He's a talking horse, by the way. Yeah, no problem. I've been a good weekend anyway, even if you have got some dingoes running around. 
What's in here? Target. I've done it, done this already. We swapped the directions. I don't know why we did it, but we did it. Let's go upstairs again. Where's oh, the cat? Why's the cat here? Mangy flea bit and rat bat and mouse muncher. Not very nice, was it? Why is there a cat? Ned Jed. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. There was a litter tray in the second floor, though. What? Maybe there's something to do with the cat up there. Let's go have a look. Have we tried combining everything with everything? No, I haven't. I don't know if any of these items combine, to be fair. I've got a can opener and a scalpel. Can you combine things? How do you combine things, Hughes? I better not. My scoutmaster warned me to be careful. I've got a fork, a box of laughs, a flyer, two coffees, a funnel, a hamster, we tried in the microwave, didn't work, uh, some fake bath, a videotape, which I'm trying to use in the machine upstairs, but I can't use it because the lady's in the way, and a crank. Which is something to do with the flag on the roof. We don't have a flag yet. All the, uh, all the character seats. I don't know if you've played this before, this is my first time. But from what I can get, gather, someone got sent 200 years in the past, someone got sent 200 years in the future, and you can send items via the toilet to each other. So some of these items not, might not be uh, usable by me, it might be need to go to this guy in the past. Uh, but I'm just trying to work out what to do next, really. It's a mind boggler. Uh, I was going to look at the cat tray, wasn't I? It's down here. I think it's this room. We can't do anything with it. Got a speaker. Stereo. What can I do with the stereo? Mmm, plenty of wattage in this stereo. I can't wait to try my eight tracks in it. I don't think I can pick that up. Can't take the stereo. And turn it on, but that made the bath fall off the ceiling, so I don't think we need to do that again. Uh, well, domination plans. Bowling ball we couldn't take. Mouse hole. It's pretty small. Oh, do you think we've got to send the mouse into the, that room to get that guy out? But the mouse is in the past. I'm just going to use the hamster. Send the hamster in there. Nah. <laughs> There's a mouse hole there, and this guy in the past is a mouse toy. But I can't take the mouse Yo, toy I... because the cat won't let me take the mouse toy, so how can I get rid of the cat? Chat and teeth? Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Smash him with the hammer? I don't do cruelty to animals, no matter how vicious. Spaghetti? I don't wanna. Um. Drawing straws here. I've got nothing. What can I give a cat? <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Get a good ribbon going with this guy. I know what we need to get to the cat. We need to give him a spindle of freaking yarn. Yeah, I got it. Ah, yeah. You just discovered. <laughs> Called Fall of the Foot, right? Yeah, this is Fall of the Foot plan, this one. Hero turtles. You give him a ball of yarn. There's a lady with some ball of yarn. There's also the guy with the kite outside of a ball. This is what I'm. This is the problem I'm running into. We need all these things, but I can't figure out the order of doing things. Like I'm, I'm at a point. I'm stuck. I need, I know what I need to do to progress, but I can't work it out. So Betsy Ross wants to make a flag. My grandma had one like that. I need that. That Not my yarn. Type. I can't take it. My grandma had one like that. Uh, I go outside again. I don't know what mummy's for at all. Um. I suppose I can cut the yarn. I haven't got the scalpel at the moment, someone else has got it, but uh, I don't think you can interact with the yarn. Let's have a look. 
Surely you must know God Save the Queen. Yeah, I know it. I just don't know all the words. I, I know the song, but I don't, I don't know all the, all the lyrics because I, I don't like the royal family. <laughs> I'm not patriotic either. Can't take it, look. Do what to do. I think I need a hint. I think I need a hint. <sighs> Mouse hole. How can I get the mouse off the cat? Give it a hamster? Can't really give the hamster to a cat, that'd be cruel. Flags anywhere? Why is there an ice machine? What do I have? Some fake sick. I think it's fake. I can't pick that up because it's. I want the dime, but I can't pick it up because I've got nothing to pick it up with. It won't let me. Uh, uh. She can't do anything, can she? Probably marked. Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Does he? I did hear that. Well, obviously, I'm not going to be happy about anyone having cancer, but I, I don't really like the royal family. They're just. Yeah. <sighs> Get me out of here! Wait, this wait. This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights. I don't feel so good. Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. I was gonna say I could get a fake sick and make this happen, but this is different. I ain't done this before. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> I feel pukey. Indeed, all right, now hold still. Are you gonna use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. I need to get the fake sick here, don't I? Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh, sit. Stay. Good boy. <laughs> I find it very interesting you call puke just sick. Why is that? What can, we, what can we take here? Diploma? I don't think so. Can you pick up the diploma? I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. Can we pick up the technical chart? Yes. What's this? I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. We've got a technical chart and it's a human chart. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. I can't pick up oh, the human I've chart, but I've got the technical chart. Home. Don't know why I've got it, but I have got it. Uh, diploma. Let's look at these again. License to treat tentacles. She describes something rather than it being an object. Race. <laughs> it could be used for either. They're sick all over the floor. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. Okay, I don't see anything else in here. It's the 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 medical thing, the diploma. And the chart I stole. Um, I think the fake sick is going to be something to do with this. But for now, I don't think that anything else we can do is just leave. More people. Person in a tutu. 
Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. <laughs> That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. I'll uh... May I take your hat to? May I take your hat to? May I take your hat to? Hey, naturally blue. Which hat do you want? Natural? Oh, what hat? Gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the air competition in the bag. Let's get sleuthing, right. <laughs> what are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. The human if your show. your owner's going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. It's been a long time since we played Point and Click Adventure. I think uh, last one was, um... Well then, good luck. Gabriel Knight. You need luck when you've got beauty. They both seem to be very happy about something. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had That's a like tentacle enough. costume or something, but I can't even sew. Tentacle costume. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. Right, hold on. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go oh, to the all bathroom. Right. Come on, let's take a walk. Let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Right, we can put this on the toilet. Uh, use tentacle chart with toilet. Then we go into the past and take the tentacle costume from the toilet. Then we take the tentacle chart up to the lady who sews things. Upstairs. Got you, dickhead. Up we go. Up we go. <laughs> Why was that so co correct? <laughs> we'll see if random is correct. Um, she's in one of these rooms, isn't she? I forget which one. It might be upstairs. Oh, here she is. Right, then we put the... Uh, on the patterns, like that. In the future, it changes to a tentacle outfit. Okay. Okay, so that's in the future. So then we do what? We have to go with this guy to the roof. Let's go to the top and see what happens. I don't remember seeing the American flag up there before. Maybe that's in the real, real distant future. Let's have a look. Uh, this way. At the window. 
There's no thing here. Why? A shaft is normally attached here to supply a rotary motive force which is transmitted up the pole. What's the pulley for? Wow, a pulley! By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. So there's no... How do we get her to the roof then? Okay, I think he definitely needs to give Not the fake, much to the see fake in there. sick to her. Listen, let's go it's put locked. This... It's locked. It's locked. What? Not much to see in there. Okay. So we go back downstairs. I'm going to go back in the basement. Don't be streaming until I got to go and feed the kids. Apparently, it's frowned upon if you don't. I literally have no idea. Um, it's day six. I have to have some dinner with my own soon, but I don't know. I, I might go on a little bit longer. I'll, I'll go talk to Lorna in a minute and see what she wants to do. Maybe like a oh, worst case half an hour, best case two hours. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, if, I, if I'm gone when you get back, thanks for hanging out. Don't know what we're doing. Uh, need to go back there. Oh yeah, don't know. <laughs> it might catch you in a bit, yeah. I could go on all night and not eat it, but I, I kind of need to. I'm not getting gross in games like this. Right, let's put the um, the fake sick. Down the toilet. And then we'll give that to her. So she can fake her illness. Okay, we'll go back inside. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Okay, and we need to go down again. Oh. I meant to talk. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? I don't need the fake sick, I'm okay. Uh, so we need to go, we need to find a way to the roof. Through here. And you can go up the chimney, I think. There's loads of things here. Wait, we didn't go that way yet. There's a guard. So there's a kennel and a door. I can't get comfy. I have tubes all under my butt. Ghostbusters the video hey, game. How'd you get out? Oh shit, back here. Get back in there. Uh, I went the wrong way. I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Again? Okay. So out here. In here. Let's see what's in this door. Recyclotron? What's that? They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. Microwave? It has three settings. Cook. Jet defrost and mutilate beyond recognition. I need to send the hamster here, it looks looks of it. Um is there anything else? There's a plug socket up there. Let's go in this door. Did that not work? Did it randomly select a uh, no sound clip? Hee-hee, motherfuckers. Oh, it is working. This is still here from the future, from the past, look. It's still a dryer. Hmm, it's empty. It was cat. Oh, was it? <laughs> okay. Hmm, it's empty. Bang! So I can put something in here. If I put something in here in the past, it will appear here in the future if I heard the take. So maybe something bigger that can't fit in the toilet. We can do it here. Remember, this is here. 
It's busted up good. So I don't need to do anything here though. Uh, what's in the cabinet? Nothing. Fascinating. Yeah, this room has uh, has been abandoned, so that's fine. All right, let's go back this way and go in the fireplace up to the roof. There we go. Can I get the flag, or am I going to get need to get a crap? No way could I reach that. Oh come on! I need to get the crank. All right, back to the toilet. Meanwhile, tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like that's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Okay. We need to go outside. Hold it. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. Uh. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Yeah, I wish you did too. All right, we need to go to the toilet. Again. Oops. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay. okay, human, do your business. She's a very weak bladder. Okay, he has a crank. When you die, you die. Muffin 2023. When you die, you die. Muffin 2023. <laughs> Pick up the uh, the crank. Okay. Are we gonna need a fake bath? Or should I send it back? I don't know. I don't wanna I wanna be stuck here. Oh, this is good. All right, we got that. Need to go back in here. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? It's about time. It's about time. Right now, we need to go you back. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Back to the doctor. Back to the uh, roof, fireplace. There was a guy over there, wasn't there? I'll, I'll wait, it's all right, I'll talk to him in a minute. Uh, use the crank on the crank box. I'm gonna use the crank. Pick up the flag, use the flag. And I am now a tentacle. <laughs> like it. Um, can we go in these windows? Looks like they're getting ready for some kind of show. Looks like they're getting ready for some kind of show or something. Okay, back on here. Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my <laughs> insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank Best you. Best listen to them all there again. It was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Best. That was one good looking tentacle. <laughs> best hair, best laugh, and best someone else. Because I know we need that we can use that laughing when gadget. Is the show going to start, my inhuman comrade? Just as soon as we get enough humans in the lobby with their tags on. <sighs> I can't she's not, he's not gonna repeat it, but he said best hair 
best something else and best laugh. Okay. Um, now what do we do? So I have to think. Okay. Can I go up there? <laughs> Stupid tentacle. I'm surprised with the same voice actor, maybe. That's a time capsule. We've got the wine in it. It's a dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. In commemoration can of the Constitutional Convention interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. <laughs> Sorry about the dents. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. It looks like a poodle I once knew. Okay, this is this. So I need I need a can opener as well. It's sunny out. Looks comfortable. Let's just have a little explore before we go get the can opener. Some door here. Ice boxes there. Look. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the mummy's uh, let Hello, himself my silent relax. I've got to get power to my chronogen. I guess I could wait for a lightning storm. My, those are nice clothes you're wearing. Is that what the well-dressed Egyptian wore? Do you think it's strange me talking to a mummy? It's not so different from talking to specimens at med school. Except that you're a little older. I really should go now. Lump. It's that guy from the Hawaiian cop show. Bernard might like it, but it's way too tacky for me. Comfy. <laughs> I almost killed myself on a pair of those Some roller skates. No way, those things are dangerous. What's that? So got, I've got a uh, pair of skates from there. Extension cord. That looks useful. It's going to be useful, isn't it? Can I take the fake flamingo? Not my style. What the post for? It looks too heavy. Okay. I don't see anything else in here. This is a cool room. Wasn't it? Great Scott! Uh, You're a purple! Don't think I should have went in this room. Um, yes. Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? I think humans are the vilest creatures on the planet. That's the spirit. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest Diminuator. problem is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. If you'll excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Okay. Globe. World domination plans. Ah. According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. At least he hasn't conquered Antarctica yet. It's not Hankazara. As that one tentacle, damn it, I thought I was under something. Uh, what's 
one upstairs. Wasn't there a door up here last time? I don't actually know. These are all blocked off, like little chairs, aren't they? Oh, what's this? Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. I can't, it's behind the glass. Ah. Ooh. Are they the prizes? I can't, it's behind the glass. Okay, there's nothing else up here. This is dead end now. The rooms that used to be up here are gone. Okay, let's go down again. I think I'm gonna need a can opener, and I think I'm gonna need a um, the, the laughing thing, the laughing box thing, and I need a back in human form. But let's go out the front first as a tentacle. We can go <laughs> look at a walk with an... <laughs> the cat. Can't get what a shabby paint job. What's the cat doing there? Uh, the window there. What's that do? I can see Doctor Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. I can use the uh, extension cord, the plug, and then I can put the plug in the window. But I can't plug it in until I get down there. Right, let's uh, get the can opener I want. So we'll get the guy. One of them needs vinegar. Do you... <laughs> I don't know what the... I don't know what to do. It's unplugged. Okay. Let's send down. I've been on them. <laughs> How you doing? Have a good weekend. I'm gonna send back, send down the uh, the box of laughs. He felt random. Cheers, cat. Beautiful, lot of random. <laughs> no, but he felt. Got the box of laughs now. Holy shit! What happened there? Can opener. He's oh, got the can on. opener. She can take the can opener as well. Who's gonna need roller skates? Hey guys, what's up? I don't know. <laughs> Hi streamer. How you doing for them? Hope you're having a good weekend. Yeah, we're, this is my first playthrough of uh the Tentacle. How many hours have I been doing this? Well, nearly three hours, not not too long. It's a lot of things to work out. I like it. Got a can opener. I don't think he needs roller skates or anything yet. And I don't think he needs anything either. Okay, let's work with this. So I need a, a, a hair competition. So maybe I need the maybe I do need to send the brush back in time as well for the for the hair. But I, I, there was a third thing as well. I didn't hear what he said. He says something about it, great hair, great laugh, and then something else, and I don't know what it was. Uh, but we'll go to the time machine and send those two back. I need to run to the toilet as well, again. All good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. Yeah, having a good weekend. Kids aren't here, though. Um, but yeah, just chilling. And went to the game shop yesterday, which was cool. Okay, we've got a, a hairbrush for great hair. Box of laughs for a great laugh. Don't know what the third thing was. It could have been anything, but we need to trade some stuff around. I'm going to save it here. I'm just going to go to the toilet really quickly. And um, make sure I'll speak to Lorna and see what she wants to do for tea, for dinner. Yeah. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. And then we'll work out what to do next. All right. Be right back. What are we doing? Oh yeah. There's great hair, great laugh. Do you think, was it great smile? Or something like that. In which case, maybe the chatter and teeth? Send the chatter and teeth back as well. 
can barely understand Frenum's kids there. My brain is in English mode. You have different dialects in, in Sweden as well, right? You have uh, different areas. Alright, okay. got the gadgets. Why is there a cat that's randomly stuck under the fence? Meanwhile... Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir. I can take it. I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass. What are you good people going to eat? <laughs> I'm just going to have a snack later. I don't, I don't, we, we had a we had a biggish dinner, so. Oh, Nick, you mean like non squishy and later. non slimy? It could probably be uh, prawn crackers. <laughs> Fancy some prawn crackers. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. No, though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. Disguise. Okay. Uh, before I go back down and do that, can I go in here now? Would it not let me? Let's have a look. Sorry, I'm under strict orders from Tentacle Number One, the Almighty Elder, the Grand Puma, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> And a darned attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Okay. You heard the man escape. You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We are celebrities. Okay. This is what we're going to do. We are going to go back to the kennels. Actually, what's over here? There's, oh no, I spoke to that guy, didn't I? Yeah, I spoke to him. Uh, I need to take the costume off, though. So how do I take the costume off? Do I not? Say, cutie. Maybe one of them can work for me. Tentacle babe like you to a dump like this. <laughs> is it hard? Is it? Left door open. to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? Hey, what am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash. Oh, we need that. Classy babe like you. <sighs> we need to get the, the invitation, but that's upstairs behind glass. I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. See why no one wants them as pets? I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. How do I? I think it controls the force field. Get away from that. That's my job. I can get rid of him with the invitation, but how am I gonna? I I, I can't take the costume off, can I? Oh, can I use that? Can I just use the name tag? Username tag. No, it's for my pet. Okay, so I need to I need to get that thing from upstairs. How am I gonna break the glass? Does anyone have something for a break glass? I mean a hammer would probably be the, the obvious thing. I've got a right-handed hammer here. Is that for breaking glass? I don't know. It's the answer. I could try it. Let's use the uh, the hammer. The toilet. Go pick it up. Outside. I 
Okay, let's just try the hammer on the uh, the glass upstairs. Uh, that's we go. I'm gonna go this way. This is going to be a prize for the contest, isn't it? We're in a chicken and egg scenario. Heck no. I want to keep it in good condition. No. Well, let me have it. It's obviously a prize. So we need a human. How are we going to get a human to help us? See if we can convince one of the humans to play ball in the, in the thing underneath. In the, the kennel. Can we use the mummy? Do you think we can use the mummy? That'd be funny. Let's talk to these first, though. Oops. Talk. Talk to... Zed. I can't talk to him. Talk. No. Can't talk to him. Great. Uh, the mummy upstairs, then. Can we dress the mummy up as a human and pretend it's a human? Put it on roller skates to push it around. That's that's my idea. It's a ridiculous idea, but the mummy. Why is the mummy up here? His feet up. That's that's the question I've got. Oh, the can opener. We use this first. Use can opener on the time capsule. Totally forgot about that. Vinegar! Yeah, that's what we wanted. Vintage vinegar. Okay, that's that's part of what we wanted for the other person. So we just go give them that and then we'll do try them. Actually let's try this first. But we need gold as well. That's the other thing we need. So let's give the mummy the roller skates. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's use the uh, the teeth. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering Box of laughs? Why would he need a sense of humor in here? Maybe they'll be used later. Can we push the... He's my human, though. Was there a, I wonder if there was any more, like, is it anything gold in here I can use? Not the candelabra, but that's... Hmm, how decorative. It's gold, but it's, it's screwed down. We've got nothing to, to prise it open with. Can't take it. Pick up. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. It's been bolted down. Something else. Okay, let's go see what the, the mummies are doing. Hey, Space Maker, how are you, how are you doing? Welcome in. Let's uh, use my name tag on the mummy. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's <laughs> raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Not going to win, though. We've got the laugh, though. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Okay, that's the contest. What's that say? This 400-year-old clock is an amusing example of primitive human timekeeping. Okay, well, the competition is they give the greatest smile, greatest laugh, and greatest... Uh, what was the other one? Hair. So I've got the brush. But the mummy doesn't have hair. I need a toupee. I need, I need that wig. I need... Uh, the professor's wig or something, probably, to make it, you know, 
give a cool hair. Uh, but yeah, for now, let's just put the get vinegar in the toilet. And then let him have the vinegar, because he needs it. So he's got vinegar. Um, he needs gold. We need to give gold to Professor. I can go give the vinegar in and let's see, let's see if, anything, if it happens if I give the guy the, the vinegar first. One step at a time. Let's see if this works. Yeah, there's a missing piece. We need the gold. And we probably need to get the wig off someone, so that, this is probably leading up to it. Um, what was I doing? Vinegar to Professor. What? Did you do it? He's got a wig. I want his wig. Right, let's give him the vinegar. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Hey, what is it this time? To me, it's been so fucking close like five times. One of those, is it? Ah, you get there. It sounds like, you know, you know the time trials on Spyro, we have to keep pushing. You get so close, like seconds, and you get there. It's doable. What are you doing? What was the battery? What was it you needed for that battery again? Oil, vinegar, and gold. gold. I still need the gold. Let me know if you happen across any. Need the gold. I need, hey, I need, I need his wig. What is it this time? I think I'll be moseying along now. Well, don't mosey over anything breakable. If someone likes 18th out. century hair, that wig would be perfect. Yeah. I think the mummy needs to have the hair to win the contest. Um, we can go see what happens at the contest, though. Let's go see what happens. Maybe I'll win. <laughs> Maybe I'll win without the wig. Uh, is it upstairs, the judging area? Oh, here we go. Judge best hair, judge best smile, judge best laugh. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. I think you're in the laughing box, though. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> oh, classic. <laughs> Now there's a sense of humor. Agreed. Yeah, Harold won. <laughs> it's like you've played this before. I'll work this out. It's my first time. I'm playing it blind. No, no, uh, no spoilers. Please. Let's give Let's laughs to mummy. <laughs> right, now we can do it again, all right? Don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? I know. Why did the human cross the road? Because his tentacle owner told him to. Ha, ha, ha. No, I was saying, I remember this game in my sleep. One of the best point and clickies ever. Nice. I've heard it's one of the best. I never played this one. I've, I've done a Monkey Islands and from Fandango and Indiana Jones. Never this one. Oh, of course, Harold wins hands down. But if it weren't for Harold, I'd let the mummy. I know they remastered this as well, 2016 or something, didn't they? This is the talkie edition on DOS, and we're using the. Uh... So I've read online that it. It might be optimized for MT32, but some people said it was better on General MIDI, so I'm just using the sound, sound canvas today. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, I'm going to give my mummy the chattering teeth. Oh, this is definitely going to work. All right, Stop here we go. Chattering, mummy. The judges will think you're chewing gum. And that sound is giving me an headache. Oh, this will never work. Oh, no, it's not going to work. How are we going to do that then? The gum, we can't get the gum off the floor, wouldn't let me. And I've only got a brush, I haven't got a wig. I don't think so. Can't make it look like a, a mohawk. All right, so we can't win hair and we can't win smile because the teeth are chattering too much. We need the horse's teeth, don't we? I don't know how to get the horse's teeth yet. Okay, we'll have to work that out. <laughs> Okay, so that's another thing to work out. Uh, Ted looks so cute. There's thick <laughs> I know. Okay. Horse teeth, or maybe George Washington's teeth. Maybe something to do with the gum. And we need some hair, which I think comes from the professor, but he needs the gold, and we don't know how to get the gold yet. Gold is on the quill. In the main hall. He won't let me take the pen. Or use it. Hey, keep your hands off that. Keep your hands off that. I think he needs a jacket though. This is like chicken and egg again, which to do first. Why do I have spaghetti? All right, Tommy. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Yo, Tom. Thomas. Thomas. He's done the time capsule. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. How goes the fr so this is How goes the framing of the Constitution? Not so well. We don't know whether to call it the Bill of Rights or Appendix A. That's I change. Sure His text changes every time. A useful suggestion soon. I can't give a suggestion because I've got nothing to later, bra. Right on. What? What's going to happen later? Uh, okay. Got invisible ink, and I've got some something else. The correction paper thing stuff. <laughs> Thomas Bell, boy, cheerio. Let's see anything to write on for suggestions. Can I open the suggestion box? It's padlocked. Yeah, it's padlocked. Suggestion box. Is one in the future? Hancock is the best. He's just chilling there, isn't he? <laughs> Literally. I think he needs the coat. Um, but the coat, he won't let me take the coat. Yet. This is empty. Wait, what's in the cabinet? Nothing. Okay. I think we hit a dead end on this guy. I think we need to do something in the future. What was down there? Forgot. Oh yeah, the professor's down there. He signed really huge. What did that happen? He signed really huge. Was, was, was that an incognito clue? Because there's a clue. There's a, there's a sign on the roof, isn't there? I'm asking the future. I'm confused. Um, someone comes and cleans with that. George's bed. George sleeps here. I don't see anything to hear that can be useful. Um, the lady cleans it. Like, well, that doesn't do anything. This room was... We've done her. She done the costume, so we're done with her. Didn't find anything to do with the kite plans or the mirror, so I don't know what this is for. 
um, what was upstairs? Statue people, right? And the horse, the, the damn horse. What do I do with the damn horse? <laughs> don't worry. If that was a hint, I didn't get it at all, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah, Fees is quoting the future. Hancock. Laugh and then guys. <laughs> Whoa. What do we do with this guy? He doesn't take his teeth out, will he? Why is he even in here? Glass horse. Horse. A spoiler. Hi. Hi there. Still trying to get back to the future? I am. Laughed at by a horse. Whoa. <sighs> to feed him? What's the food? What's spaghetti? I can't pick up the glass or anything, right? I don't want to touch it. This is the sculpture room. We already swapped them around. I don't know what that, why they, why we had to do that. Let's talk to Jed Edison. I said John Hunter signed the Declaration of Independence. Really huge. It's a historic fact. I didn't know that. Nice. Yeah, they made a joke about it on here, but I didn't get it. <laughs> Sorry. Hope I haven't jostled you. Yeah, American history, not my strong point. Okay, can't do anything there. Glass stairway. I need the I need the sneaky mouse squeaky mouse toy, but I don't know how to get rid of the cat. As well, this is something else I haven't worked out. Ned's bed, Jed's bed. Can I move? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Don't think this is helping. Where am I gonna put it? Uh, huh. Very Spartan. Can we get rid of this freaking cat? What can we give him? For, I assume Fred, but we need to get rid of the kite guy first. Somehow. Get him electrocuted. Okay. I'm going to have a stream I know play this game later and I'm watching the parts he might get stuck at and knowing him that's all over the place. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, this it throws you all kind of like you can basically go everywhere on this, and you've got all kind of like trails that you could take, like things you could do. But what I'm struggling with is finding the right order to do things. Like I'm I'm getting like um, chicken before egg scenarios where I know what I want to do, but I can't do it just yet. Which is good, I think it's good, but I just need to find that that missing part. It's totally covered with crud. Do I need to wash this? I can't do anything without something to scrub with. Oh, the brush. Oh, the brush, the brush. I give the brush to the girl, didn't I? All right, let's go get it back. Don't know why I need to clean it, but the one in the future said, clean me. But he can't have the bucket of water because he can't go to the toilet, but um, maybe if you clean it in the past, it cleans the future, who knows? Let's find out. Use brush of toilet. Doing great, yeah, thanks. I hope so. We'll get there. Trial and error. Uh, pick up the brush. Okay, then we can use the brush in the water if you do, do it Nothing that way. Nothing to clean in here. Oh, no, we do it this way. Use brush with carriage. I won't be able to get it very clean. Oh, it's thinking. I've already clicked too soon. Let's wait for the CD ROM to catch up. This gave me a scare earlier because it didn't load for ages, but it will catch up. I hope. Or we'll get a blue screen. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> Catch up, yeah. Let's 
still loading. Here we go. I'm back. Give the old girl a second to catch up. Might do a save. Just in case. Okay. Use a pocket of water with carriage. I won't be able to get it very clean without soap. Oh, we need soap. Don't have soap. I mean, does that work? I don't think that would look better white. <laughs> it's worth a try. Spaghetti. Can you make soap out of spaghetti? I don't wanna. Uh, red paint. Who has soap? All have who signed the Declaration of Independence uh, signed normally except Hancock. Like <laughs> he has a magnifying glass right in. <laughs> Want to stand out. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. I need to find some soap. I would have thought this soap would be like in modern times, right? So like maybe like something in the, the laundry room or here somewhere. Bulletin board. House the generator. Lever. I don't know why I did. I, I put this off earlier. I don't know if I was supposed to. It's back on now. Is that good or bad? I don't actually know what I did that for. Let's go have a look outside while it does. I'm also looking for soap. Not that way. I just want to go see outside what happened in the uh, the river. Wash me. I'm trying to. Working on that. It looks like pureed horseshoe crab. What? Pureed horseshoe crab? It looks like pureed horseshoe crab. I don't know why uh, that matters and what that's doing. Yeah, let's find some soap. Why is there a bird bath? I'd rather not. I think I'll need a little more leverage. I can pick up the bird bath. I need the the, the guy breaking into the boot. He's got a uh, a um what's it called? <sighs> Crowbar. I need a crowbar, but I, I forgot to wash the car for some reason first. <laughs> Can I uh, take a bit of plant? Is that like aloe vera? What if the SPCP were to find out? No. Where do I get soap from? Coffee maker. Microwave. No detergent. Okay, open the washer. This is as open as it gets. No. I don't know. I don't see anything soap related. I don't know what to do that guy yet. Couldn't work out how to get that up yet. Some of little peek upstairs. Like I know I need to get the sweater off this guy. I've already put the dime in there to make him roll over once. We need to make him roll over again. <sighs> I need the safe combination. There's all sorts of things I'm trying to do at once. I get the sweater off him. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. He won't roll over. 
was going to say, can we put something like a pee under the <laughs> under the, the bed in the past? But no, because uh, we haven't got nothing like that. <sighs> Can't reach out to him yet. Fit in here. Doesn't seem to be. Can I pull the speaker? It's too heavy for me to pick up. Didn't wake that guy up with the speaker, did it? Not gonna play Mani Maniac uh, Mansion again. Cause that quite nearly crashed my thing earlier. Pretty cool though. Um, need to get rid of her. Why is there an owl? It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Creepy. I'd rather not. It looks awful heavy. Can't be something to do with that statue as well. We made it swap sides. I don't know why. It's not exactly the Ritz. Okay, I'm really stuck now. Shaka is a fucking bear. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi there, my little gurgle pot. <laughs> gurgle pot? Um, fuck. Never mind. It's creepy as fuck. Um, poster, what's the poster to do? Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't kidding. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Get rid of her. Okay. Now I'm stuck. How are we going to get soap? Hey, Blabberhoof. Tentacle high. Looking at tentacle one. <laughs> Great choice of game. Thanks. First playthrough. I'm a fan of point and clicks. I've played quite a number of LucasArts and Sierra ones in the past, but never this one. Yeah, welcome in. We're having a good weekend. Uh, that clip is interesting because it sounds like I'm acting for the camera, but I'm in full on flight mode. Yeah. Having a moat just for this moment. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. I have more of a clue. At least I know, like, the kind of things I need to be doing in this game. When I was playing Gab the last Gabriel Knight I played, I was completely stumped. Completely, completely stumped. I had to look that one up. And I know some of the things that I'm just missing something. I'm just missing a piece. It's missing one piece. Maybe several pieces, but I'm definitely missing a piece. I need soap. Is there any soap in the future? Let's have a look for soap in the future. There's a cat. I can talk to the cat now. Last time I couldn't I can't do anything get with the close cat. To him. Oh. Can't get close to the cat. Can't get close to him. Why is there a cat? Actually, no. Uh, my first playthrough of this game was in 1993. At the release weekend, no voice acting back then. I didn't have the CD edition of the game, only lots of floppies. Oh, nice. I don't have a physical copy of this. I did have the I do have the DOS um, floppy disk uh, non talky edition working as well. Um, but I found I I found the ISO for the, the the talky one earlier, so I installed it, which is why I started later than I was hoping to. 
Um, but yeah, the, the both editions still support the sign canvas, so we use them today. Uh, and we're using some real hardware too. But yeah, I didn't get, I didn't, I haven't got the real version of this. I've got the Monkey Islands on the uh, big box edition, but not this one. Okay, I think we need to go down this way. This is where the kitchen area is, isn't it? This one. Had the physical CD-ROM version, but I sold it years ago. It's probably like tripled in value since then. Yeah, I think the CD-ROM version will probably be cheaper though. Uh, floppy disk ones are normally really expensive for big boxes. Voice acting is great in this one. Hoagie, same voice actor as Murray from Monkey Island. Oh, right, that's where I heard it. Nice. Yeah, the, I, I've read a page and they said like the uh, the talky one adds a lot of humour, which I guess is true. Cyclotron. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. There's no soaps in here, is there? Huh. I need a hint, just holler. Don't want to spoil your puzzle. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to hold off as best I can. I'll uh, suffer a little bit longer before I ask for hints. But yeah, if anyone if anyone's not played it before, then um, you can throw ideas because that's fair. That's fair enough. There's no uh, spoilers that way, really. But yeah, you uh, veterans. Guy's gone. I guess they're gone to judge. I think I've. Best laugh we've done. We need best smile. Which is something to do with these teeth, but we need gum. And best. Wait, do you think I can. I couldn't pick up the gum? Do you think I can chew the gum with the chattering teeth? Does that. Will that work? Let's try. Let's put the, let's put the teeth back in the time machine. Go grab the teeth. I think you, I wonder if you can use the icebox and stuff to teleport stuff to save you going outside every time, but I haven't tried that. Let's try this. Uh, let's say I could solve the game tender age of 15 within a weekend. Right walkthrough. Send it to the local gaming magazine, but it was too late. Nice. You can submit it to IGN. Prison alien ten tentacle steps in. I'm in charge here. Well, I've hoped them. <laughs> I've got the wrong way, haven't I? I've got to go in the basement to it, I forgot. Uh, by the way, a little quality of life hint. If you want to transfer items, you can also just drag and drop them on the face of the destination hero. They walk the chrono joint ah nice perfect that'd be good i'll try that next time i need this transport so i didn't know that sweet and i've been doing it manually let's take these teeth pick up teeth in toilet you probably said that in the manual right i don't have the manual <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we can use the teeth with the gum and the dime. That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Balls. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't use them. What haven't I used on this freaking dime? It's really stuck to the floor. You don't need a crowbar, do you? That'd be silly. No, scalpel. I couldn't use the scalpel either. I'd probably cut myself. Okay, I've got nothing else to get that gum up with. I thought we could chew it with the teeth, but that didn't work. I can't use the videotape until I get rid of that nurse. I 
The professor's already in there trying to open the safe. But I can't open it quick enough, I can't get rid of him. I've got to record the safe combination and then uh, do it myself to get the contract. I don't see anything else in here. I should play many point and clicks. Yeah, I've played quite a few. I've played, so I've played all the Monkey Islands. I think Curse is my favourite. Um, Grim Fandango, I've played all the Broken Swords. Uh, all the Gabriel Knights bar one. I haven't played the FMV Gabriel Knight, but I've got, got it. I'll probably play it at Halloween. Um, Indiana Jones ones and those. I'm sure there's loads of others. I can't think off the top of my head, but yeah, I've played a fair few. Okay. Do. No, I didn't play for Wobby Park. I heard it had a bad ending, and it kind of put me off playing it. Yeah, I, mean, I know that's a more recent one. Do you think it's worth playing? Thinking. I don't know why I gave it that. Disappearing ink isn't soap, right? Not funny enough. <laughs> Let's make that dirt disappear. Making it dirtier won't help. No. Oh. I don't think that would look better white. Soap. Nah, I like it the way it is. Has Ron Gim Gilbert Engden. Not bad per, s per se, but some people have issues with something so meta. Yeah, the, the new Monkey Island had a controversial ending, didn't it? I like the new Monkey Island. I thought it ended... Well, it it could have ended more satisfying, but it's still pretty good. I enjoyed it. No spoilers. Uh, you know the physics of it. When stuck, there might be some steps that... In most point and clicks, you need to go through like a point and click troubleshoot guide. <laughs> the steps are that I'd normally just brute force things until I get the uh, the correct answer. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. I bet this would work better than a sleeping pill. Man, a sleeping pill. Who needs to go to sleep? The nurse? Well, I'll just run to the chronogon. Oh, that's such a great call. Thank you, thank you for telling me that uh, little hint. That's that's good. That's gonna save me lots of time while I'm trialing an error. Oh, do I have to go get it? No, it's there. Worked perfectly. Use the basic point and click rules are enough to solve about everything, uh, everything about everything from Lucas Arts. I just forget what I've done already. That's what like, my problem is. But when I when I do it, I'm going to kick myself and be like, "Ah, oh, I thought I tried that." That's what normally happens. No, thank you, dear. Talk to anyone, look at everything, try to pick up anything and combine all. Just think one of them old, the one of those. I don't know, let's just try. Get showing those. Uh... I need the gold pen, don't I? Maybe I can put him to sleep. Old Thomas. <laughs> I don't mean I don't know why you want to read it, but we can try. That's nice, but not right for a time capsule. No, he just wants to put stuff in there. I've already put the wine in there. I'm not gonna give that to the father of our country. So the guy outside on the field. The kite. Let's 
try and there's a reason why there are different action verbs. So I can't help but feel <laughs> it's how me I've missed something. I have missed something, I know I have. Please, I'm concentrating. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. I bet this would work better than a sleeping pill. It's work better than a sleeping pill. Ha. Huh. Give, open, look at, push, close, talk to, pull. Ah, uh, use textbook. Although limited to a low pressure sub zero nitrogen free environment, okay. the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Okay. Hey? Yeah, I'm good, sorry, good tips. I didn't hear what you said. I think I must have dozed off there for a minute. Oh, it's working. A streamer friend who's lost is lost for those exact reasons, and that he's stubborn. If he's thinking the idea works, he continued doing it. Let's try that again. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. Hey? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I think I must have dozed off there for a minute. Wait. Why did she stay asleep? Although limited to a low pressure sub zero nitrogen free environment, the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Eh? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I think I must have dozed off there for a minute. She dozed off for a minute but didn't go to sleep. Have I got a bit of coffee first? Decaf coffee, again. I'd rather not. No, I ain't got a cup. Uh, I'm getting told him, no, it's not working. He will try. It works and it never does. I thought this was working, but it doesn't seem to be. Sometimes I don't know if you have to repeat it, but it doesn't look like it's doing it, does it? I'm missing some flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Eh? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I think I must have dozed off there for a minute. How can I get that to speak so she goes to sleep? <laughs> you got the patience in the world, used to him. Definitely require patience sometimes. That, I find that Gabriel Knight required a lot of patience because um, there was so much text you had to listen to. That's the last one I played on stream, it took me freaking hours. Ow. We kind of had the right idea, I think. How can we make her go to sleep properly? We'll just get out of the room. It's a stamp guy. What? Pony Express stamps. Stamp yes, guy. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of. Sentimental value to me. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Don't touch my stamps. When induction elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. That's so boring, it almost put me to sleep, and I collect stamps. Okay, it's not gonna work on him. Who else is here? The professor and the the safe? Uh I don't want to put him to sleep, he's already asleep. Kids fed, how's it going? Oh well some progress, yeah, we made some progress, I think. I did more stuff in the future with uh the girl got a got her in a tentacle costume. So we are working it out very slowly. <laughs> Welcome back. He wants clues in the ends, but we have to rhyme it to him and not clear giveaways, and that leads to many funny misconceptions to lead. <laughs> kind of help him without him realising, is that what you mean? So he still feels like he's done it himself. 
The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. Shut up, kid. This convention is dull enough without you trying to put me to sleep. One step, yeah. By the way, do you know that you can use the computer in Ed's room to play Full Mini at Mansion, the prequel game? Yeah, I did. I found it early, out earlier and it switched. And uh, we also got the um, the audio coming from the computer, spe uh, the, the PC speaker. So it was all, all cool. <laughs> yeah, it worked. I couldn't work out how to quit, though. I had to Google it. Alt and X, I think it was. Or Alt and C. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, good one here. He complicates the clue, given so he starts a new impossible mind maze for himself. <laughs> okay. I've heard it's not too good to disturb a sleepwalker. No. Who else can we put to sleep? Did you think he can? I don't think he can read the book, right? I mean, he can try, but it doesn't seem that he's kind of thing. He's not really going to understand what he's doing, is he? Although limited to a low All pressure right. sub-zero nitrogen-free environment, he put me in his pelvis, Astro Boy. I'm going to kill myself <laughs> twice, <laughs> Gremlins too. Look, what are you, some kind of geek? Oh, he didn't go to sleep. Dr. Fred is already asleep, so putting him to sleep again, that would be sleepception. I just want him to collapse, <laughs> so I can go in the safe. I know I need to get the combination using the videotape recorder, but uh, I need to get the woman to sleep first. Well, not to sleep, just get her out of there. Okay, let's try this book on other people in here. Although limited to a low pressure sub-zero nitrogen free environment, the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Please stop, you're making me quite drowsy. Uh, is that good? Do it again. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Please stop. You're making me quite drowsy. Think about people being in your way in real life and they don't react to polite words. What would you do in real life? Uh, <laughs> shank him. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work earlier, did it? Excuse me. With the scalpel. Yes. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. The following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. Stop reading that horrible book. It's hard enough to stay awake through this blasted meeting as it is. This book's got to work on someone because the, the clue is like it makes people sleep better than sleeping pills. So I've come in outright murder, of course. I don't know what I've got to be rude to her. I can scare her. There's a mouse in the loft, but I can't get the mouse. Um, let's, let's see if it works on the professor. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps I think I want his the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Stop! That book's starting to put me to sleep. If you didn't go to sleep, though, did you? Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Stop! That book's starting to put me to sleep. No. Nope. Uh, anyone else upstairs? There was the. Sewing lady, I think. It's the only ever one. Oh yeah, and Peter Griffin, the cleaning lady, was that way as well. When induction elements have I want that thin, that spindle of wool. That's what I want as well more. for the cat. Stop! You're making me drowsy. Can't you see I'm operating heavy machinery? Sorry. No. What's a can? We can maybe can pick it up. I saw a sewing machine. My grandma had one like that. My grandma had one like that. The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest, and in the four corners they want a keg, some babes, a guitar, and some drumsticks. And underneath it all put, America rocks. 
Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. No, she's not going to leave it. So I've got to do something to the nurse, you say. Do it! Okay, okay, okay. Just do it! Can't see how it is a seamstress. I wanted the, uh, I, I thought I could tease the cat away from that mouse with the uh, thing. Let's try and put this horse to sleep. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. Wait, the music's First, changed. Develop a rigorous elective grammar. The music's the changed. This is good. Have NP completeness. <laughs> the grungy factor can be ignored. I want his teeth. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, there we go. Blah, okay. Blah, 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 now we've got the smile. Blah. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> I'll take them. Should I give him the chattering teeth in return just for fun chits and giggles? Nah, let's just take him. So the dentures now. Um, so we can go back to we can give them to the the girl. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks. For, you kind of pushed me in the right direction, so that's, that's cool. Made me retry things. No oh, well, do. Never a good one if you had enough. Appreciate it. What can't you? Well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Trouble? What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. Able I get the picture, son. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. Out of Before you go off the deep end, let me tell you why I called you here. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those... The shrink thing. We really had this. For good. I've invented the Diminuator. Diminuator. What? It's a shrinking ray, Dolt. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. Okay. Uh, we need to go back upstairs. No. Upstairs. Around here. Let's give my mummy the uh, the big big smiley dentures. <laughs> they look ridiculous. Alright, here we go. Lovely. <laughs> That's perfect. Right, okay. Judge best smile. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. You know, that quiet one in the bandages has the biggest smile I've ever seen. But his teeth aren't as pearly white as Harold's. Oh, of course, there's no comparison. Pet but I think we should give second place to the mummy, because he maintains it for so long. Agreed. Okay, we can whiten them. Okay, who's got the whitening? I think he had it. Uh, boo, 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 be gone. Use boo, boo, be gone on the mummy. I don't think that would look better white. And I need to take the teeth back, don't I? How to do that? Well, he's got an impressive smile, a nice hearty laugh, and he's as bald as a cue ball. In other words, not a chance in it. Fascinating. I can't seem to interact with the teeth. I could brush them, I guess. Let's brush the teeth instead. Um, let's give that to her. I don't think so. It's definitely got to be the... Why can't I brush the teeth? I don't understand. Use... I don't think that would look better white. Pick up. Mommy. Not my type. <laughs> I can't get the teeth off in now to clean them. I don't know how to do that. Oh, 
I don't know what to do. Apart from ruin the other guy's smile with the, the gum or something. Okay, we're hitting all of that. I, I need to whiten them somehow, but I can't because I, I can't use that on him. Open, give, use, push, pull. No. I don't think so. The time is not white. All right, I can't do anything with that then. I also need to find a wig. I need to get my wig. Okay, let's go back to the, um, the problem of trying to get the nurse to sleep. Can I use the candy machine? Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything. If Harold wouldn't exceed in laughter, smile, and hair all the time, the mummy would be at least in two categories first. And our second place is also honourable. You think I've done enough? Just need to get some hair then. Um, so I know that the professor has a wig in the past, but he, he's not going to give me anything until I finish his machine. He wants gold. I can't get the quill yet. This is some of a place I can get hair. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef. It won't budge. It won't budge. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. I've got no dimes for this, have I? Okay. Can I push it on the chair? <laughs> well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, Problem solved. push a few old ladies down the stairs. And he got that because I pushed the uh, the mummy with the roller skates earlier. <laughs> right, use the videotape of the uh, VCR before she comes back. And then we need to look at the monitor, I guess, with the, um, the combination. And record. Fifty-seven. What? That's not a combination, is it? Doctor Fred Edison. Internal Revenue. Oh well. <laughs> come with us. We'd like to go over Should some back with you. In Return of the Upstairs. Tentacle, you can see what became of Edna. Didn't even know there was a Return of the Tentacle. All right, cool. So we've got the the combination. There's apparently just fifty-seven. That might not be right. The tapes at the end. Let's record, rewind. This is probably gonna tell me, isn't it? Wait, is that all I have to do? Doctor Fred Edison, internal revenue. I can't pull. I can't. I need to stop it. Come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. He's gone anyway. Eject, pause, start. What's EP and Does that make it go slower? I think it does, doesn't it? I can't remember. It's been a while since she's a VCR. There we go. It's in slow motion. 101. 999. Nine. I need to write this down. 57. 101, 999, 57. One. Uh, For my reference, Doctor Fred Edison. Edison, Internal Revenue, come <laughs> with. Finally, you got 400k. Congratulations! Expect to lose it, man. Well, you got it now. Congrats, GG. I think I broke the button. Uh, how do I exit this? I can take that owl now. No, Edna might come back and she scares me. Poster? No, Edna might come back and she scares me. Over. No, Edna might come back and she scares me. Can I control the music on that guy's room? I see a large pulsating lump with blue stripes on it. Something strange is going on in there. 
Looks like the hallway. Do you want to know about the statue? It won't spoil anything now. Um, yeah, go on then. I, I saw I made the, the arms swap. That's all what happened though. Nothing actually... I didn't notice anything happen with that. Was there, Did I miss something when it happened? It's possible. Go for it. It's not spoil anything. Happy to hear it. Okay, we can do the clue now. Open the safe. The safe is closed. I'd rather not. What? You want to use the safe? Of course you do. I'd rather not. Open safe. Let's see. It's one oh one nine nine nine. Okay, I'm trying to put it myself. Seven. If you hadn't swapped the statue's arms, Edna Chair gets sprung back into the room. Ah, nice. We solved that. Solved it without even realizing. <laughs> nice. It doesn't seem to open. Oh, I just want to pick it up. Okay, so we've got the contract. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. It doesn't seem to open. I forgot what we've got to do with that. It's something to do with the money, isn't it? The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. I really don't remember what to do with that. Um... It doesn't seem to open. It's something to do with the money, wasn't it? It's something to do with the, the... I'd rather not. It's going to give it to someone in the past. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Can we give it to the guy in the past? I don't actually know. Nice. Thanks for showing that, CPR. I never would have noticed. Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Oh, yeah, we need the money uh, for this. I want to buy a diamond. For a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? No. Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Okay. Something to do with the past and that, that contract was just stolen. Don't forget to see if it else in the safe is there. Okay, so we try doing something in the past with that contract. Get the hoagie. Uh, but who? The professor in the basement maybe want to see that thing contract? Not sure. Or do we have to give it to the one of the people at the co I don't know. I don't actually know what the co I've forgotten what the contract was for. Oh, it's for the it like first game, wasn't it? Hi, Dr. Nick. Uh, literally, Hell Rob, welcome in. How is it going with Day of the Tentacle? I think it's going all right, actually. I've been pushed in the right direction, but there's been no spoilers, so I'm really happy uh, that we've got this far. I'm playing it about four hours. First playthrough. This is the, uh, the talkie edition on DOS. Yeah. Hope you had a good weekend. There's still lots to do. I'm trying to find a, I'm trying to get a wig. I'm trying to get a gold pen. Um, what else am I trying to do? Do something with a contract. And I need to find some soap. What am I supposed to do with that? I forgot what the contract's for. It's some kind of legal mumbo jumbo. I'm supposed to do with it. I've completely forgotten what it's for. Legal mumbo jumbo. I don't think it's for these people, is it? Could go in the time capsule. That's nice, but not right for a time capsule. Not right for a time capsule. I'm not going to give that to the father of our country. Nope. I don't know why I'm going to do this, but see what happens if I put it in the, in the, in the box. I don't want to. Nope. Um, what else we got? I haven't put anything in the suggestion box yet. I don't want to. Nope. Who's upstairs? 
sculpt is. That's it. And there's a guy on the, on the hill waiting for electricity. It's some kind of legal mumbo jumbo. <sighs> no, didn't the professor want it? He couldn't find it. He couldn't remember the combination, but he remembered it in his sleep. So I, I'm helping the professor with the contract, right? Is he back from the IRS? The contract was a document Dr. Fred didn't sign before Maniac Mansion hit the shelves and made Ron Gilbert and everyone <laughs> Lucasfilm's millionaires. So he lost a lot of royalties and he's quite distraught about it, of course. Yeah, and he couldn't find the uh, combination, right? But now he's... He's uh, been taken away by the IRS, so... I can't speak to him. I'm just going to get money back for it. And the money will go in his account, really, don't I? Then I can spend it on diamonds. Let's go talk to this guy in there. I think he's just a useless guy. Oops. I want his gun as well. I can't remember how to get, I don't know how to get his gun yet. No, it's probably some kind of practical joke. I'd rather not. I don't think your house is in there. Sleeping dude. Let's see if this guy helped me. I'd rather not. No. He does not want to contract. Poor me. Poor, poor me. <laughs> poor Dwayne. Go away. I'm busy moping. I don't know the way it's going up yet. I, I try. I wanted to put a funnel in his butt with a. I'm not sure I like that idea. <laughs> a hamstopper's butt, but it didn't work. I'm not sure I like that idea. I like the idea. Oh, can we can we wake him up with coffee? He can smell the coffee. Hold on. Not with the sweater for him. Hmm. I don't know. No. It's powerful stuff. <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. It doesn't seem to open. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. What can I do with that contract? I'd rather not. It would look like an accident, maybe later. Hit a wall again, didn't I? I'm finally so peeper. Uh, I get hair. Can I steal anyone else's hair? Really big hair, haven't they? Who else has big hair like that? 
I thought I was going to have to nick the professor's hair. He's got like a old-fashioned wig. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. <laughs> I like the cutscenes. Ah. Uh... No hair in here for me, is there? Contract. Contract. I don't wanna. No, I <laughs> didn't do anything. Unlock the next level bracket. You try to get 100% in that game then. Good luck. Despairing. That's right. You can do it. Doing both modes on normal. And I thought glow in the dark fake. It's playing Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Ah, what him? Weird Ed. Let's give it to him. I'd rather not. Give the contract to Weird Ed. I don't think I should bother him with that. No? You don't think so? I think you should try, at least. I don't know why I want a stamp album, though. What could that do, possibly do? Or not. It's from George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. That flyer, I think that's something to do with the Constitution. It's the kind of wacky thing that would happen, right? Let's, let's see if we can <laughs> give the flyer to the. No, use the flyer with the suggestion box that means in the future everyone will have a vacuum in their <laughs> basement right boy it's sure quiet in here i wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box maybe somebody should take a look i say lads i have an idea does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire no <laughs> I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? Can I vacuum no cleaner? Any importance has been here well, all Tony Hawk's day. Underground 2 when I was a teen, along with other Tony Hawk box. games. Perhaps he intends to suggest something I spoke as teenagers as well. Oh. <laughs> Front ah. size. Here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their okay. basement. I have a vacuum what cleaner, though. Think, gentlemen? How is that going to help me? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name How is that going to help me? I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yeah, <laughs> it's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are we'll no help objections, you. we shall it's add it yet. to the Constitution immediately. Well, that's one thing no? in my inventory, at least. Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? You suck. <laughs> Love it. All right. Um, we have a you suck vacuum cleaner down below. Uh... Don't need it yet. 
I don't think. <laughs> it will help in the future. No spoilers. <laughs> I'll get it. Um, it's a problem with solving 40 puzzles before the issue arises. Yeah. I like I like like how they've done this. This is quite original, isn't it? The three areas, distinct areas, time zones. I'm happy to give it a go, not jizz. Okay. Don't think that. And so I haven't done anything from the contract, have I? Hello. Spooks here. Hey, Spooks. How you doing? It's a good afternoon. Having a good weekend. What are we on? Four hours? I'm gonna carry on. Cheers, Cat. Do you wanna know why I use pies? Cakes are too quick. You can't savor all the little taste sensations. You see, when boys to choose cake or pies, pie, people show you their true taste. I am not. <laughs> Ain't got pie. Yeah, we're having a good one. How's things here? We are, we are, we are uh, investigating what to do next. <laughs> it's going all right. I'm trying to work out what to do with the contract to get money in my bank account, and I need some soap. You know, I can siphon some soap out of the basement, do you? Like the the washroom. Haven't you got the invoices? Start charging you for technical support. <laughs> mm. Gum, that, that gum is bothering me. That gum has been here since the beginning of the game. I still haven't worked out how to pick it up. Okay. Let's talk to this guy again. We haven't done much for this guy. I say I'm kind of busy. I want a crowbar. Nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. See you later. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give him a uh, give him a fork. I doubt he'd be interested. Um, what else we got? Where's the book gone? Although limited to a low pressure sub zero nitrogen free much. environment, the flux induction circuit can still be quite useful. Man, guess you don't need sleeping pills if you got that around. Now go away, kid, you bother me. Um. I've seen this is something to do with the cleaning the thing in the past, but we haven't got any soap. It's really dirty. Tell we have got. When I turned off the uh, the thing in the, the the lab, it said something about the water being crystal clean. But I've, I haven't got a bucket anymore. The bucket's in the past, and I couldn't use it. Maybe that's a maybe it's a little red herring again. Let's just, just see what happens. The vacuum's down in there. Right, let's push this off. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Is this another one? Let's see what he said. Exactly what he said. Looks inviting. What beautiful clear water. Okay, nothing about taking the water though, is it? It's not soap. I love the water if the machine's cleaning the water, maybe it's soapy? <laughs> I don't know. This crystal clean water doesn't magically clean stuff. You need soap or something like that to really wash stuff, yeah. Uh, better nothing though. They wash mud off. off. Not in this game though. But is, is this this machine's washing the water, right? Or clear it, filtering the water? 
I don't think there was anything on this machine to interact with. Let's have a look. Sludge mark. Warning. Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions no, if ingested. For, that's for turning things to sludge. That's not even any good. To do. Where's the generator? I'm really I'm gonna make sure I haven't missed anything in this room. No, where's the... The vacuum cleaner must be in that kitchen room. This thing is a... This is a red herring. Uh, horticultural horror. I can't touch it, it's spiny. What if the SPCP were to find out? Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Hmm, air conditioning, I guess. Gross. Garbage, fat of teeth. Right, nothing else here, is there? This guy's got a cigar, but I can't get it. Chuck the Plant is a nod to Maniac Mansion. Uh, there you could feed Chuck with a copyright infringing Pepsi to make it burp. Gotta run. Ciao, kid. I didn't really get into Maniac Mansion. Only because like, it's like open ended that so you can. People die and stuff. It's not like a traditional point and click where there's like one one path through. That's why I didn't like it. Can they coffee make it? There's nothing for washing things. The dryer, the coin slot. Wash up, there's no It looks pretty broken. If I can pick up in the washer. I don't think I can pick that up. See, logically, you expect soap to be near the washer or in the washer, but it's not clickable. I've got a funnel. I don't know what that's for. I'm not sure I like that idea. I tried to get the bucket of water to it. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. Yeah. Can't give it in the water. They should empty it first. It's full of water. Why do I have spaghetti? Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Lovely. <laughs> Is he saying about getting soggy new? What, what is soggy new? It's noodles. all slimy and sticking together. Why the noodles gone soggy all of a sudden? What did I do? Um, the bucket is also too big for the pipe. Oh, you said that, didn't you? You've given me an idea, which is probably the point. There's a ice machine thing upstairs, isn't there? Or oh, there's a the. No, there's no tumble dryer here, but there is a... No, there's no ice machine. There's something here. Oh, what was it? It was something that I said to myself, I can put this in something to transfer it to the future. What was it? I can't remember. The noodles, you put them in the toilet of water. That... Oh, right. <laughs> Good point. Now I get it.
So in the past, we had the ice machine, which takes things to the future, I think. I don't wanna. So where can we put this water so it appears to the future? I don't wanna. I mean, there's the, the time capsule, but that's... He's not going to put a bucket of water in the time capsule, is he? That's stupid. I, I'll try it, but why not? I don't think these rooms are... Uh, no. Noodles in the toilet. Oh, yeah. That's nice, but not right for a time capsule. Not right for a time capsule. I don't wanna. I'm just trying to think where I could put it so it appears in the, the future, but I don't think there's... Like, well, it's a bucket of water, why would that even matter? That's, that's a really silly thing to put in the, in the future, isn't it? I think I'm overthinking this. Soggy noodles. Do you think the cat would want to play with soggy noodles? <laughs> but the cat's in the past. He has some soggy noodles. Do cats like soggy noodles, everyone? <laughs> I don't think so. I wanted to give the, the cat some twine or something to get the mouse. I don't like soggy noodles, no. I don't think my cat would like soggy noodles either. I don't wanna. Don't wanna. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had a house cat, so we didn't go hunting. Soggy noodles would make good hair, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I feel like gods are free roaming. Well, we had a we had a rescue cat, and he wasn't confident with the guy's side. What? Hey, Hannah. Hey Anna, how's how it going? How's the stream? Sometimes you just get super lucky. What are we playing today? Fall out. Well, just do what you want. <laughs> hey, welcome in Raiders as well. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good weekend. Nice, OG Fallout. Any good? You enjoying it? I had a good stream. I, I, I installed um, OG Fallout recently on this. So did I put it on this one? I did have it on this one, but then I installed the XP collection-y version on the other retro PC I've got. More sandboxing than I was hoping for, but it was kind of fun. Sweet. Yeah, I haven't had a proper playthrough of that one yet. I want to. A bit slow to the, uh, <laughs> a bit slow to the party though, aren't I? We are trying to make progress in um, Ted's Tentacle. We're doing pretty good, I think. We're now about to judge best hair with my mummy with spaghetti on its head. Hey, Let's see what happens. when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. I've no idea what the hell I'm go uh, going through. Lots of expiration. Cut the screen short, take a longer break. We'll be back for something different soon. Harold's got some amazing hair. <laughs> Mummy's has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, dull. stringy, lacks body and control, whereas Harold's flows and bounces with every subtle turn of his head. Yes, Harold wins. If only the Mummy's was a little bit better. Agreed. Where the hell I'm going? All right. I think I, I watched a little, um, someone put a TikTok about a little intro to Fallout, like what to do at the beginning, and it's really helpful. So I kind of know roughly what to start with, but yeah, after that, I guess it is more sandboxy. I doubt it holds your hand like modern Fallout. 
The first one I played was Fallout 3. I didn't play the originals way back when. How can we make the mummy's head more <laughs> voluminous? <laughs> can you brush it? Let's try brushing his hair. No, I might get sauce on it. Mummy's head. Why not brush it? Ah, let's try this. No, I might get sauce on it. I might get sauce on it. What tool is usually used for spaghetti? There's <sighs> <laughs> not a tool. I kind of, oh, like a, like a fork? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh yeah, I got it. A little bit spoilery. <laughs> I probably would have got there a trial and error after a little while. I was going through all the stuff I had. Yeah, I might have hints if I asked for it, but um, I can work this out, hopefully. Do best hair again. Hey, it should be two out of three. Don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Wow, for a mummy, that's some great looking hair. <laughs> it's a mummy. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No, Harold is still the best. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place <laughs> to the mummy. Agreed. There's our next objective is to kill Harold. If he was to drop dead, I'll speak to Harold. Howdy. Oh, look, red, white, and blue. Is that Luke coming back in again? Not really gonna murder Harold, are we? I can win this contest without cheating. Well, at least without actually killing anybody. <laughs> so we need to cheat. We need to cut Harold's hair or do something to his face. We'll find something to do. Let's go through all the stuff we've got first. I don't think that would look better white. Uh fake bath. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? He's going to be sick, you isn't he? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I it. think I'm going to be sick. Nice. Someone in here not feeling well. I thought we needed I the bath earlier for um, her to pretend she's sick, but we didn't that. use it. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But <laughs> I just got all my shots. You're a good looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Bye bye. What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. Me too. I, I can emphasize, emphasize that. <laughs> Alright, let's go get this, this, this party on the, on the road. Let's go get judged. Mummy is the winner. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> Rejected. That means I get the so I'm gonna get the, the the food invitation to take the guard on a date and then I guess we bust bust the professor free. I don't know why, but we need to. And juicy. The mummy wins. Agree. The winners. A smile again. Hey, don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right. 
<laughs> you, you, every so often you get like a newspaper article appear how the mummies like uh, the tentacles are helping or taking over for the president and all sorts. Like so it's like a gradual takeover. This is 200 years into the future. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agree. Da, 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 da. Hey, don't you think you should judge best laugh again? Oh, all right. Before you won this one. Okay, who's got a joke? I got one. How can you tell a human from a sack of flour? Drop them both off a tall building, and the human will bounce. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> ha. Uh, ha. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. I say we give him first place. Agree. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go. Yeah, some people like the back seat more than others. I don't mind the like kind of like little bit of a hint. I'll miss his laugh. Or if I ask for it, it's fair enough. Sometimes I ask. <laughs> but yeah, if I'm just if, 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 if someone's just like literally talking through it, then you kind of lose the the original charm of the game, right? You're not doing it yourself. This is where we <laughs> yeah, he wasn't too bad. Days. You've certainly helped Sad. save humanity. Good work, mummy. You've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years. Humans bounce. Oh, we can we can test. <laughs> Favorite Edison. What shall they do? So what do we? What happened then? So we should we get? Did we get the 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 trophy? Hello, my silent gauze wrapped friend. I got to get the power to my, I need, I need I that. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Okay, so we won. We got to go get the trophy now and the, the thing. I got the problematic gizmo for you, sir. You mean the high frequency fragistatic generator? Yes, that one. But I'm having trouble locating the pneumo whatsis. The pneumo electric deamplifier. You might try that old abandoned lab in the basement. It's hardly been touched in 200 years. Yes, sir. The diminuator will be my crowning success. With it, I'll be able to shrink the entire human race out of sight. <laughs> okay, it's up the hall, isn't it? Oh, we already got it. It's in, it's in my inventory already. I didn't even see it. Look, dinner certificate and a trophy. Uh, so we can go. The trophy would make a good bucket of water, right? Yes, it would. Right, we'll try that in a minute. Let's do the. Let's take, let's take this guard to dinner first. Do a save. Muffin number two. Probably have to finish soon. It's eight o'clock. I didn't want to stream too late today because I've been on all afternoon. Need to eat. Um, I'll do a little bit more. I like it. Okay, so if I use the food certificate with the technical guard. Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? Hell yeah. I can't wait to tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> One asshole. How rude. All right, let's just, uh, turn this off. You're free. Free to do what? Free to, to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free. Now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be Cowards. eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I mean, for all I that. Think they're both cheating. And they don't want to even escape, do they? All right. Well, we we held them anyway. They they can escape when they want to. We need to convince them somehow, I guess, to escape. But it's fine. We can do something else nice. We got this trophy. Ooh. Ooh. A trophy, a fork, boo boo be gone, a brush, and a can opener, and a hammer. No, the guy still needs to get a gold quill to get that. I don't know what we need to do to get that. Do you think the trophy? Do you think I the guy? Think oh, wait. So. I don't think so. I don't think so. Why can't I use it? Ooh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, you can't so. use the trophy. The trophy is this something you got to keep. Okay, fair enough. Must be something else I can get from this situation then. Cards. Hey, they can cheat. You can't. You want to read the cards? Why are they giving them the contract? Where's the contract? I don't think so. No. What can we give Zed? Paint. Like, what's this pattern? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I don't think so. I know what to do with that letter. The depressed guy. He wants to... He, he wants to... I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, yeah. Right, where's that depressed guy with the gun? In there. No, wrong one. This one. He just wanted someone to appreciate him. And I thought glow in the dark fake doo doo was such a good idea. Hey, there's a letter here for you. For me? Yes. <laughs> Probably another rejection slip. Oh, well. No, you're brilliant. Didn't need the mouse for this. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. That's great. Almost saw the light bulb over your head. I know, right? Okay, we can take this. Uh, this I like it when that happens. I when a game leads you to do that. Oh, don't go out yet. What else is the leftovers? Things are growing in it. No way. I'm not touching that junk. TV set. That's right, an incredible four thousand carat diamond. Muffalini, tortie, don't talk about. That sounds like pasta. I'm really hungry. Don't, don't talk about food. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah. Okay, Michael, I need to get on the bike to the grocery store. Oh, it's gonna get stuff. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you have a good one, cat. Are you streaming later today? Or are you having a weekend off, just doing offline stuff? If you if you head out, don't worry. Don't worry about replying. Take care of yourself. Good to see you, cat. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Dog's playing poker. My dad has one of these in his den. I'm gonna get that. I picture. don't think I can pick that up. All right. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, there's a, there's a phone. We don't need the phone, do we? It's a mouse hole. It's pretty small. Let's go use that gun on someone. Yeah, we definitely had a light bulb moment. Awesome. Uh, I'm in the mood this weekend, probably because I lost momentum since I didn't stream last weekend. To find something fun to play. I had I'd, I'd run out of stuff to play. I was like, well, not run out of stuff to play. Just like nothing. I didn't feel like fancy like playing anything. But um, this has been on my list for a long time. I'm glad I started it, and also got this at the weekend to play next week towards our GG100. Uh, so if I use this gun with this gun... Look, gravity has reversed itself over there. Huh? <laughs> we'll swap them around and he can't light I my don't cigar. See anything. Oh, never mind. Do I need something then? I'll look for something and redeem it for tomorrow. Alright, cool. 
But yeah, take care of yourself, cat. Have a good one. Let's talk to this guy. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So, want another cigar? Yes. Take care, dude. Uh, yeah. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? It's gonna, it's gonna like knock it down in my throat, isn't it? Bang. <laughs> I don't get it. Yoink. But why do I need an explosion? Oh, I know, I know, I can give it to. Get lost, kid. Okay, the, the light bulbs are like flashing now. We've, we've found, we've found the sticking point. We've got through the sticking point now. I, I think I've got several things to do now. So this is gonna be given to him. Don't know what the gun, the cigar light is for yet. Work that out later. But yeah, we can go to uh, George Washington and blow his teeth up. <laughs> and then we'll give him some chattering teeth instead. <laughs> I, don't know how I don't know how that's going to help, but uh, it sounds fun. Okay, so in here. Maybe we can light a fire with the, uh, the, the, the lighter gun thing. But yeah, let's do this first. Give exploding cigar to George Washington. Excuse me. Something yeah, I never thought I'd say. Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? No. Pity. That can be arranged. Excuse me. Yes. Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case... Here goes. Bye-bye, <laughs> teeth. Where's the kaboom? <laughs> there it is. Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. I'll find them. Wait, where'd they go? Where does Eve go? Well, I, I don't know where them teeth went, but I know what we can give him instead. Wait, where are they gone? Alright, here we go, George. Some nice new gnashes for you. Could you use these? Why, thank you, young man. Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. <laughs> hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I guess That's funny. Okay. Dialogue. Me? Uh, all makes Why sense now. Build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. I'm bothered by your God, attitude. He's so cold, isn't he? You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, Lord Lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Two hours later. You big baby. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm going to save it. Let's talk to uh, John Hancock. Hi there. Hello. Feeling better now that there's a fire? Much better, thank you. My teeth were grinding into a I thought we had to get the coat for him, but that I was wrong. Blanket was really making oh, I'll build the fire. <laughs> What's uh, with the canary over the, the fireplace? Canary over the fireplace. Oh, that's an early warning system. It's quite ingenious. The canary is trained to ring the bell madly the minute it smells smoke. Then we know the building's on fire and we run like crazy. Well, why doesn't the fire in the fireplace set it off? 
I assume it's because all the smoke goes up and out the chimney. Who feeds the canary? Actually, no one does. It's a self-feeding canary. Oh, it's lovely. specially bred with some kind of nutrient-producing bacteria in its gizzard. <laughs> Quite a time saver. Wow. We expect everyone will have them in the future. Who thought of it? It was invented by Red Edison, the owner of the inn. I see. Amazing, isn't it? Nice painting of a turkey, dude. I'm glad you think so. The choosing of the national bird is on our agenda for the convention. And you thought it'd be turkey. Well, I thought the national bird was the eagle or something. It may well turn out to be just that. You see, there are two schools of thought on the matter. Ben Franklin and I are in favor of the turkey, whereas Jefferson and Washington, for some reason, want the eagle. But Franklin's always outside playing with his ridiculous toys instead of here where he belongs, so it becomes two against one. So we need to get, get him in here so we can have a turkey instead of an eagle. What's wrong with the eagle? What's wrong with the eagle? Well, it's a bird of prey for one thing. I don't think that's an appropriate symbol for our country. <laughs> the turkey is. It's a great What's turkey. What's so great about the turkey? They've helped us to survive since we set foot on this continent. They're symbolic of prosperity and the thanks we give for our lives here. Besides, they're kind of cute. Uh, don't you guys have anything better to do? Such as what? We'll figure out what to do about the national debt? Debt? This is a prosperous country. We don't have a debt. I see. Yet. Good. Well, gotta go. Goodbye. Okay, he didn't help me much, did he? I thought he was gonna give me something. Let's, let's see if we can, uh... Yo, Tom. Thomas. Thomas. How goes the framing of the Constitution? Great. George's suggestion about the vacuum cleaners really got the old creative juices flowing. In fact, we've just given Ocelots the right to vote. I hope they've got a good <laughs> editor. Okay. Later, bra. Something to what? do with the What's going to happen ink later? and stuff is going to be uh, relevant soon, I think. What's that down there? A oh, blanket. Let's take that. Navajo, I think. Why do we need a blanket? Huh. It's not soap. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Now what are you looking at out there? There are two sides to everything. You know that, my boy? Wow. What issue are you contemplating? What do you think? Is my left side better or my right? Gee, I gotta go now. Can you take can I take the pen the pen? That's what I want, the gold plate pen. Hey, keep your hands off that. No. So I I need to get the pen somehow. And we also have the blanket. I don't know what the blanket's for yet. Uh suggestion box is locked. Don't we got any way to open that yet? Okay. Let's have a think then. So we still got the contract thing to sort out. It needs a signature, right? It needs a it needs a John Hancock. Let's see what happens if I give that to uh, him. It needs a John Hancock. Let's give it to him and see what happens. I don't think he'd be interested. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was worth a try. <laughs> It's worth a shot. Um, coffee, funnels, hamsters, scalpels, textbooks, Swiss bank books. Uh, can I open a brush? Trophy. I don't think so. Fork. Boo boo be gone. It's for whitening stuff. Or erasing ink. Of the water, red paint. Right, 
I can't I transport so. the trophy. Oh, here I go out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy But I can use the trophy, right? That my it's forefathers not... fought and died for. Oh, right. Give it up. Sheesh. I don't think so. Oh, you can't you, you can't use the trophy at all. I don't think so. It's just like a, a gimmicky item. Okay, fine. Oh, meanwhile. Well, a young tentacle, what have you got to report? I found the piece you needed, sir. Excellent. The human race shall soon be as puny as their intellects. Have the prisoners been keeping intellects as pets again? I'll have to reprimand them. That's insects, you buffoon. Anyway, we have more important things to think about. I once read that humans were descended from buffoons. That's... never mind. <laughs> I need your help with another matter. Come closer. True. I'm about to reveal my master plan. It begins 200 years in our past. What do we have here? Recycler, Recyclatron. They may be oppressive and power mad. First time seeing you, I'll, you can see more of me today because the camera's. Stuff. I'm right next to the camera, you see. <laughs> and I've got a controller in my hand. What's there a cyclotron for? I don't think so. Nah, that might be useful. Nah, that might be... I don't think so. Something that's not useful for the Recyclotron. A textbook. Nah, that might be useful. I don't think I can put that in the Chronojohn. Can't put the hamster in the toilet, okay. Uh, to do, what to do? Red paint, that's not useful, is it? Ink. Contract. Not funny enough. Blankets. What's a blanket for? That one doesn't make sense. I, I, I can't see anything I need a blanket for. <laughs> Still going, Freddy. Still going. But we've made some a little bit more progress. So it's alright. Need to finish soon. 8.30. Cool, it's been a long day. Wait, do you think I could... You... Hold on. I don't think... Oh, wait. I don't think I can put that in the chronogen. That's stuck here. I think I made great pro. Hey, thanks. Yeah, I think I might call it soon. Let's see. I'll just, just brainstorm what I can do with this blanket and then I'll. Uh... I could make a kite out of a blanket. But why do I, I don't know why I need to make a kite? That's, that seems kind of silly. Just thinking. Call who? Oh, call it. Not call it. <laughs> it the clown. No, call it, call it as in I'm going to finish soon because <laughs> it's late. I've got better things to do. No, not that. How does this compare to Maniac Mansion? I, I didn't play much of Maniac Mansion. I'll admit I didn't really like Maniac, Maniac Mansion because like, it's... I, I don't like Maniac Mansion as a point and click because people, like, you, you, your characters die. And I like it when there's like a story and just go through the story, you know. There was more, that wasn't like a traditional point and click, so I didn't really play much of it. So I, I like this one. Okay. Does the cat want a blanket? I've got better things to do. Does the cat want to be sat on fire with a lighter? Hey, it's not a toy. Uh. I've got better things to do. 
just trying to be funny. All right, <laughs> I was in show. We just misinterpreted what I said. Sorry, Mel. Um, Jed's bed. Yoo-hoo. Well, sleep he is. I agree. I tried the Niz version. It's absolutely, it's absolutely solid. So, what do you mean? But you mean it's difficult or it's a good solid game? <laughs> I tried the Niz version as well. It's Jalico, isn't it? <laughs> it's all right, Emil. All right, let's get the mummy the blanket. I've got better things to do. Nope, he's got better things to do. Try buffing that thing with a blanket. It's probably not going to work, is it? I've got better things to do. Still need to find some soap. As in heart. Oh yeah, your characters die, don't they? If you're not quick enough. Well, I I had help from chat, pretty much step by step, and still struggled. I'm trying to do this without backseating. I'll ask if I need help, but uh, yeah, not doing not doing backseating. Unless asked. I like working things out for myself. I think you think you're doing that with broken sword, right? What is he doing? Let's just talk to him. Uh, excuse help, me, anyway. Mister. Mister Lightning Tamer, that would be me. Well, see ya. Carry on. Right, that's no good. Microwave. I could put the fork in the microwave. It's bad to put metal in a I microwave. I know it is. That's, that's kind of the idea. All right, don't bother then. Um. Why don't I have two pots of coffee? Never mix, never worry. I think I'm about. I think I'm about. I could funnel the coffee into the sleeping guy's mouth. <laughs> Does that work? Let's try. You've definitely solved some stuff I had to look up when I was younger. Oh, that's good. How did you look it up? If you played it like way back when? Before the days. Of, I suppose the internet was. Wait a minute. Nice night free. It depends where you played it, I guess. Early internet. Who knows? Just about existed. All right. Probably harder to find solid walkthroughs, but yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Kudos for being it back then, because it would have been way difficult, more difficult without being able to look up stuff easily. Right, I'm going to give this funnel. Not on the sweater, sorry. I want to use it on the guy. Wrong size. I'm not sure I like that idea. I like the idea, do it. I don't think he's interested. I'd rather not. I don't think he's interested. I don't even know why I need the sweater anymore. I tried. I, I thought we could stick it in the butt and put the hamster up there. I said that earlier, but uh, it didn't work, alas. In you go, you bastard! Stick it in his butt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I'm stuck. I think uh, I think I'll leave it there, and I'll I'll sleep on it. And then next time we, we come back to it, I'll um, maybe have some ideas what to do next. But yeah, we'll call it there. Well, it's Sunday today. Uh, I'm streaming tomorrow night. Probably won't be this, because I'm going to play some platformer games again. I'm probably going to play... Um, did I start something last week? I don't know. I've got a couple of games. So I've got this on... One, I've got this half finished. I've got Ape Escape 3 nearly finished. I'm going to play Batman this week. Um, so maybe I'll fit this in sometime next week anyway, because I'm off off work but yeah it should be cool we'll definitely finish it at some point soon such an angry little dude <laughs> I'm not angry it's phenomenal I'm on I'll do that 
Let's have a look. Yeah, Phenomenon's playing Blood Bloodborne. We're raiding Phenomenon stream. That's fine with me. Yeah, let's do it. All right. You can't be be Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoy this kind of thing, please be free to be drop me a follow and uh, so you get notifications when I come live again. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Thanks for the the, the guidance. There was, there was there was more guidance than backseating, which is good because it helped me uh, work things out for myself. So I feel like I've accomplished something. So thanks for that. Um, thanks, thanks for the raid earlier, after Hunter as well. Appreciate you all for hanging out. Uh, we're gonna raid into for Nom Nom. He's playing Bloodborne. Click the button. Oh, you might do. All right, Freddy. That's that's fair enough. I can see why it might be fifty fifty. <laughs> all right. Cheers, everyone. Have a good one. Toodles.